I came to bring the pain. Uh, join the combo. I'm going to just one, two, one, two, one, two, one. I'm just going to put some things in the chat over here so y'all could join the conversation because we live. We are live in this. Once again, Wednesday afternoon, early, early stream. Get in at it for the people them early so that uh, we can get into a bunch of things before the end of this afternoon. It's your boy Friday, Ricky Tread. Um, I'm here at the Cribble, as usual. Big salute to the crew. Um, big salute to Dusty Wallace. Big salute to producer B3. Big salute to DJ Zara, a.k.a. Young Shwarma. Um, We have a show coming up tomorrow, okay, for the people who want to tap in. Let me make sure that my microphone is sounding good before we even get into all of this talk and all of this type of thing, you know what I mean? How's my mic sounding out there? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, what, 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 one, two. Let me know if my mic is sounding good. I'm doing a couple of shares right now as we speak. I'm sharing over here on the gram, letting the people know that we're live. Una momento. Bada boom, bada bing. And let yourself be seen over here in the chat as well. Comment gang strong. I'm going to also pin the, um, the link if y'all want to join the conversation see okay audio sounding good we are cooking with gasoline that's pinned over there let's get a couple more shares going on and let's make sure that while we over here that you smash that like button okay let's get us up in the algorithm over here neil davis what up i see you over there in the chat i'm gonna make sure i can chat so i can uh Get some polls going on over here. Pause. And uh, let's have a conversation, man. A couple of things I want to cover. Um, like I was just saying, we have some live shows that are popping off tomorrow, 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 as well as on Thursday. Wait, tomorrow is Thursday. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, okay? Um, Saturday is actually 420, so that's going to be the probably the craziest one. But we are doing our tour. We are touring with Junk. Big salute to Junk, a.k.a. My name is Junk. Let me see if I can pull up something over here. Um, I'm going to go on Stone Giants page. Stone Giants Records. They probably have the flyer up here. And they do. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, let's get into that first. Just run right into this. And then we'll get into the list of topics and all that type of stuff so that uh, we can get acquainted with what's going on here. Haircut Rick in the building. Boom. So big salute to Stone Giants. Y'all should be able to see that on the screen. Good, good, good. So the junk show was going down. Tomorrow is going to be going down over here in Toronto. Okay. Um, it's going to be over at a place called the Roadhouse. It's at 744 Mount Pleasant. This is the flyer for it right here. Okay. Big salute to Stone Giants. Big salute to Junk. He's, he's pulling up here from the West Coast, all the way from the West Coast. Um, special guest will be... Oh, is there some music here? Grew up on minimum May. Grew up on minimum wage. Red like remember... All right, Casper Marcus, um, The Real Brett, performing artist, special guests, is, and who else is in there? John Basement, Uncle Bino, um, and, you know, the We Love Hip Hop uh, boys will be doing a live podcast. If y'all want to get some tickets, and there's more shows also. There's a show in Niagara, and there's also a show in Hamilton. Okay? Um, the Hamilton show. Let me just pull up the address here for the Hamilton show. Un momento. Boom. Let me just pull up the information for the Hamilton show. Hamilton show. That is going to be um, 747 King Street. All right. So make sure to pull up for the Hamilton show. And then the last one in Niagara, that's at Camp Cataract. That's 4317 Queen Street. That's on 420, April 20th, starting at 7 p.m. for all of the shows. We'll probably be going on a little bit earlier in the night as well, probably by 8, 830. 
Um, nine o'clock, the latest is when we'll be doing our live shows. Our live shows, and for the people who want to, you know, specifically see uh, the We Love Hip Hop Boys do a, a, a live podcast uh, and live podcast. There's not one format on how we do a live podcast. Like you don't expect for us to just be sitting there um, with a, some couches set up and we're just talking amongst ourselves. No, we have an interactive experience when we do a live show. Okay, so that means you know we might be well, we will be playing a bunch of different games, um, trivia. We'll be getting people from the audience to pull up. So it's definitely, definitely a different experience than um, just seeing us just do the podcast on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So pop out if y'all want to um, see a really, really dope show um, all three nights, tomorrow night in Toronto, f- um, Friday night in Hamilton, and Saturday night in Niagara. And if y'all want to get some free tickets, hit up the comments on the um, new episode that we just dropped, episode 462 of the We Love Hip Hop podcast. Jump in the comments right there. Let us know that you want to go to the show and we'll just hook it up. You don't even have to answer any quick uh, trivia questions, nothing like that. We'll just hook it up and uh, pull up and enjoy yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, Before I even get into this, also, I want to give a big salute to the sponsors, big salute to Diamond Club. They got delivery all over the GTA. That's the bag that you see right there. Okay, I'm smoking right now some um, Death Bubba. Okay, um, so, but big up to Diamond Club. If y'all want to get some delivery, hit them up on their Instagram page, Diamond Club underscore Canada. You can also use the code We Love Hip Hop if you want to get a discount on anything, anything on the order. And you can find them on the Seven Days of Weed website and the Leafy Things website. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, like I said, use the code We Love Hip Hop. Get yourself a nice little discount. You heard me. Also, if you want some of that blem, some of that blibbity blem, hit up Steaming Hot Grabber. Okay, right now I got some Flaming Hot right there, but they got Red Rose Grabber. One of my favorites is the Peanut Butter Grabber. Okay, hit up Steaming Hot Grabber if you want to get some of those. Steaming Hot Grabber on Instagram. And uh, also use the code We Love Hip Hop and get yourself a little discount. Who's in the building right now? Comment gang scrong. I see you over here, over here, Neil Davis in the building. Um, let yourself be seen. And like I said, the chat is at the top right there. Let me do a quick share on Twitter and go do my rounds over on the Reddit. Actually, Reddit's been uh, kind of nice lately. They haven't been as crazy as they used to be. Um, I want to go over a couple of different things, though. This Kendrick Lamar this. AI thing that came out. I kind of went, I kind of put up a viral post upon um, um, Twitter, aka X, when in regards to that. Right now, the post that I have up, if I can go and take a look, has about 455,000 views, 1,001 likes, and 459 retweets in regards to this AI or leak. Or what people were very confused when the track dropped yesterday, um, whether it was Kendrick Lamar or what, whether it was some kind of AI programming that was going on right there. So I want to get into that and just maybe some of the things that might be ruining this beef, um, you know, like Rick Ross. OK, Rick Ross has uh, jumped into the whole Drake and Kendrick Lamar battle that's been going on, the, the, the clash of the titans that we've all been waiting for. And they've been going back and forth to the point where now it's become a distraction. So I want to go over a few different things. Uh, Metro Boomin and um, Future coming to Toronto. Let's talk about that for a quick fast. Adam 22 versus Joe Button. All right. That's uh, we definitely got to get into some no jumper news. Um, Apparently, NBA young boy or young boy never broke again, got arrested um we'll we'll definitely touch on that what else do i have on my list tizzy stacks his paperwork has come out and um, a few more things here toronto pearson gold heist was an inside job all right so we're stacked we're stacked we got a lot a lot a lot a lot of things to talk about all right do me a favor everybody out there who's watching this right now as well make sure to hit that like button make sure to share the content to whatever different social media platform that you prefer that you use, um, whether you know you want to share it on Reddit, share it on your Facebook, share it on your Twitter, um, you know, it all it all helps. It all adds to the pieces of the puzzle. You heard me. So uh, let's get into some of this stuff here. Let's see here. Let us see here. What's first on my list? What's first on my list? 
Um, let's get into some of this Kendrick Lamar stuff. Okay. Like I was saying, I had a post that was on Twitter, aka X, and it was something that I found through Alex Media. Big salute to Alex Media. He's the black guy on um flagrant with um Andrew um Andrew Schultz and Akash Singh and everybody over there. All right. So if y'all can see this on the screen, I have my Twitter up. And this is the post that I posted from the Twitter. This is of the AI that dropped yesterday. It's been confirmed at this point that this is AI that dropped of a track that everybody thought was Kendrick Lamar just going crazy on the boy. Okay. Which guy you better have? Let's go here. So dropping down for that 50, I'll give you 200. I'm too cunning. Come touch down the city. Let's see who teams want it. You really would be stupid for choosing a rock of jewelry that is foolery. LA goons ready for coonery. Nigga, these size sevens gonna be up in your ass. I'm big stepping cause I'm rapping cop and do it with class. Ain't no gangsta in my hood, rocking nails for the past. Wanna be yachty so bad, you're probably topping for cash. Mm. First of all, even before I even go into this fully, how many of y'all have heard this? In the first place, okay. How many of y'all have heard this Kendrick Lamar? Um, I guess alleged AI or AI confirmed AI track called, um, what is it? Owl Hunting. And if you heard it, was I'm gonna ask a poll here, was the AI fire question mark question mark question mark all right that's what i want to know we all feeling this ai okay let me do a couple more shares here quick fast and let's make sure more people over here on youtube before i get really 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 started let me do a quick facebook share one second gang give me a second because i'm seeing a lot of people that are popping up from twitter aka x and I got some people that are popping up from Twitch, if I'm not mistaken. But I want to make sure the YouTube audience is, is well in tuned. Um, I should go on Instagram too. Okay. We'll circle back one second. We'll circle back. We'll make sure everything's crisp and clean. Instagram, Wagwan. We are live. We are we 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 are live. We're doing a review right now of this AI track that was that popped out yesterday. Um, I think I have the guy's name too, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see if I can find dude's name. I had it here on Instagram, but dude dropped the track yesterday. Uh, there was actually a couple of tracks that dropped. Okay, and there was a lot of confusion going around here. What's this guy's name? um loza alexander okay loza alexander i think i followed you here on instagram as well if you if you see this tap in okay um we need to have a conversation about uh some of your ai tactics and who's who sent you bro who sent you okay apparently the whole what kind of conspiracy right now is that um the OVO camp is sending out AIs and bots and all types of stuff. So I want to definitely get into that. If you see me over here on Instagram, you know what's up. That means we are live somewhere else, and that's YouTube, okay? Pop up on the YouTube, youtube.com slash we love hip hop network. Let's get a conversation going. There's a link that's in the chat. If y'all want to join the conversation, you can cam up, get your clout all the way up. Let's go. Go. Da, 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 da. Discord. All right, so let's get back to this. Bacumery, nigga, these size sevens gonna be up in your ass. I'm big stepping cause I'm rapping cop and do it with class. Ain't no gangsta in my hood, rocking nails for the past. Wanna be yachty so bad, you're probably topping for cash. What kind of man tell another man? Don't make me chip a nail, Kendrick. I'm way bigger than you in Japan. Can't you tell, Kendrick? Okay, I'm not gonna lie, his bars are not bad. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that he's murdering it, but he's not not murdering it. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody was so quick to be like, yo, you're so stupid, fam. There's no way that this is Kendrick, fam. Come on, bro. Kendrick distorts his voice all the time. 
So I don't understand how everybody was so like so sure, like extra sure. You know what I'm saying? Saying it with their chest. Mind you, I was wrong. Okay, I can admit when I'm wrong, but at the same time, just the the how sure like so many people seem to be, it wasn't that clear. We're just in an age right now where we're paranoid. Everything's AI. You know what I'm saying? Is that the pizza man at the door or is that AI? You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's where we are right now. We don't know. We don't trust nothing. All right. If you look in the comment section over here, people were going not so frito. All right. Definitely fake. Ah, shit. This person, producer B3, well, this person, <laughs> my co-host, producer B3, was like, yo, him and I were the only ones that were like, kind of like, yo, this may be real. And if it is, did he? What? Right? Because that was the big, that was the, the, the big blow that hit in this. I'll play it from here. That 50, I'll give you 200. I'm too cunning. Come touch down the city. Let's see who teams want it. You really would be stupid for choosing a rock your jewelry that is full of LA goons ready for coonery. Uh -huh. Nigga, these size sevens gonna be up in your ass. I'm big step because I'm repping cop and do it with class. Take a real killer, cause those subliminals towards X don't make you real, nigga. You ain't never caught a body. Boy, you the closest thing to a porta potty. Let niggas piss on you. This industry is more than sloppy. Or these fornications, bodies that you caught before they shot recording on somebody's watches. <sighs> okay. I'm not gonna lie. That don't sound as much like um Kendrick, that little bar progression right there. You might be a little bit right about that, gang. That don't sound as much like Kendrick as I would like it to sound. Okay? Uh, let me see what y'all saying in the poll over here. Um, was the AI fire? So far, only 25% of y'all say yes. Okay? So y'all wasn't really feeling that. Um, big salute to DJ Outbreak. What up? Let's continue. Since we're not going to throw our subliminals, I'll admit it. Your favorite rapper, Trizzy, been sleeping with Diddy. Listen, I Right, so that's what the that's what the AI said. <laughs> Casper, um, the friendly ghost, not the neighborhood ghost. The other Casper, the battle rapper, he says trash. The Kanye clone says AI. The Kanye clone needs to shut up about AI. You you made a whole living off of doing AI, bro. Doing fake Kanye. You know what I'm saying? So let's let's not do that. I know the tension that's risen. Y'all wonder why he got punched. He kept scraping his teeth. He was eating his dick for lunch. Here's the thing. Now that we've established that this is AI, and let me do a quick uh, YouTube search here. I'll do a... Because... <laughs> Big stupid to Dusty Wallace. He was standing on business. He's like, Nabi! We were in a group chat, okay? We got a group chat going on. Um, Czar... Um, B3, me and, and Dusty Wallace, Dusty Wallace and I, okay? And in that group chat, we were having a, a debate. Like, nah, B, there's no way, there's no way. This 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 Dusty, Dusty was standing on business. He's like, there's no way, right? And I was like, oh, it kind of sounds like it still could be, could be Kendrick. And if it is, whoa, please don't be, please, please, please be AI. That's what I was thinking, okay? Uh, let me see if I could just do a quick search here. I'll, I'll show you all my, um, the window I'm looking at in a second. I'm just on YouTube quick fast. Let me do a little preemptive search before I... Uh, okay, found it, found it, found it, found it. Here, check the more. Okay. Let me give a quick sweet screen switch over here, and I'll show you all what I'm looking at. And like I'll say once again, in the top of the chat, on the um, there's something pinned to the top of the chat where you can join the conversation. There's a link right there. You can cam up if you want to. If you don't want to, then that's fine as well. But here we go. To be Michael Jackson, but Michael Wagwa. Jackson never.
Let me do a quick refresh. While I'm refreshing this, um, this YouTube premium break is brought to you by Master Move Rise. Okay, if you need to get some custom apparel, um, look out for the We Love Hip Hop uh, collabo that's dropping just, just now. You're going to be seeing me wear a few pieces that are just, just now. So if you all want to connect with them, hit them up on their Instagram page, master-move-rise. Big school to Unc. I mean, Drake claims to be Michael Jackson, but Michael Jackson never painted his nails or got his nails done, did he? I mean, there's something sus about him. Fuck dropping down for that 50, I'll give you 200. I'm too cunning, come touch down the city, let's see who teams want it. You really would be stupid for choosing to rock your jewelry. That is foolery, LA goons ready for coonery. Nigga, these size. So this is a, a better version that y'all can hear a little bit more clearly, okay? um franklin frazier what up uh, so this is by and let me just see this again kendrick lamar owl hunting response to drake push-ups dropping give me 50 Loz, laza alexander okay he has 181,000 subscribers so he's doing well on youtube this got 342,000 views in one day so he did what he had to Seven's gonna be up in your ass. I'm big stepping cause I'm rapping cop and do it with class. Ain't no gangster in my hood, rocking nails with a pass. Wanna be yachty so bad, you're probably topping for cash. What kind Okay, so you get to hear a way clearer version of the song. And then we go over to here. Now be brain splatter. Fuck Drake, I'll drop 50 in your PM. 50 back strokes for a milli if I DM. This gotta So, you know, Kendrick, he got Kendrick saying that he's gonna smash Drake's girl. Or smash Drake's uh, baby mother. Um, he's saying that Drake's, you know, smashing Diddy, and he scraped his teeth on his on his a yo a i e o, and um, just some wild stuff. He even had a Kobe bar in there, um, a Kobe helicopter bar, right? Treat, you're welcome. Sit down and suppose a goat. Now I'm back again. Better watch your back, cause Diddy might wanna come smack again. Right. And he was saying that's why him and Diddy got into the fight. All types of stuff. We go, this, I'm going somewhere with this, okay? Laza or Loza. Let's try. The beat ain't bad though still, bro. It's not so bad. You know it's OVO season and we bout that. I keep a poly on me if you want to strike back. See, this is the Laza Alexander dude. You know it's OVO season and we bout that. We finna. They don't wanna see me win. The way I fucked your mind with this AI, I left my semen in. I'm creeping in this industry quickly. They gotta keep me in. Bars heavy, gifted. My beats are better than Leland Win. So he made sure that he got his little verse in there. All right. Now, let's, uh, let's let him get a little bit more off, okay? My bad. Me, Leland Wayne, what's his name? Metro Boomin, stop the cooning. I'm the teacher now, you niggas been the students. I'm sick and tired of people sleeping on me. It's time to creep inside their dreams. I'm Freddy Cougar, the king, Luke King. So I guess he's sick and tired of people sleeping on him. Okay, so he decided to make his own AI, you know, hoodwink the whole industry in a way. Or not even the whole industry, because <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I sent this around, all right? I'm, I'm always transparent with the audience. I sent this around to a few people. Some um, some people who are in the industry who get to see a little bit more behind the velvet rope. I got no responses. Nobody was like, oh, this? Oh. You know, just leaving me on red. Leaving me on scene. It's disgusting. I should have known. Give me a can't even stop me, boy. I'm probably the goat. Just wait till the numbers match. Just wait till I make it blow. No beef with these other rappers. It's actually entertainment unless they come with that flame till I put them out with that okay so he's got no beef he's putting a disclaimer out there at the end i got no beef with you guys i just wanted to get my shit off right look what i can do i can make a song that sounds just like kendrick and then i can add my verse to it right see look what i could do no hands ma <laughs> You know what I need to do while I'm uh, having this conversation with y'all? Let me open up my TikTok, too. I'm going to go into my TikTok. I rarely go on TikTok while I'm here on um, these lives, but I'm going to need to go on TikTok to uh, finish some points here later on. I'm gonna, 
I got so many freaking windows open. So here's the thing. And while I'm looking for my TikTok, I'll give my quick take. I know it's AI. I know it's AI. I know it's all in fun. Okay. He just wanted to like let people see what he can do. My only issue with it is like, fam, you're saying some pretty defamatory things in an AI version to the boy. And also, let's get clear the different types of AI or the different types of way AI is used. Okay. Let's clear that up right now from the door. There's the you know, just pushing some um, a prompt into J- to chat GPT and letting them come up with a song for you, okay? That's one way of using artificial intelligence, okay? Now, there's also a different way where, you know, this guy and a few other people have been showing people where they basically write the rhyme, they rap it, they try to rap it as much as they can in the cadence of the person that they're trying to mimic, and then they um, use a voice modulator that turns their voice exactly how that rapper sounds. Okay? Y'all following me? So there's different ways of doing this. All right? From what I understand, this gentleman here, um, and this is the one I'm the guy the guy I have on the screen here, Laza Alexander. He did one of the, he wrote down whatever he thought Kendrick would say to Drake. And then he got it done in Kendrick's voice. Okay. He wrapped it and then it got spit back out in Kendrick's voice. No diddy. So the problem I have with this is the things that he's saying, you know, as the OVO lawyer, um, the invisible legal counsel over here, the issues that I do have with this is if you wrote these rhymes saying that Drake's smashing Diddy, um, what else you said in there? Something about um, how we scraped his teeth on his on his Johnson. Hey, yo. Right? Like, these things are defamatory, my G. Okay? And defamatory things can also... <sighs> Listen... If these guys do decide to take any type of real legal action, you might lose your little AI machine, my nigga. Okay? You got to chill on what you got niggas saying about the boy. Because there was people who were speculating in my comments saying that this shit is real. Not only in my comments, there was people on Twitter. Low-key, I got more views on the Twitter clip than this nigga got in his music video. You know what I'm saying? But there was people that were really debating this shit on Twitter. I was debating the shit. So if you got people debating whether it's real or fake, and then you have all of these defamatory types of things going on in the rhymes, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Things could get kind of sticky. Okay, look at this comment section over here. Actually, no, how do I do this? Let's go on to the post because the comments went crazy. Some people are saying no breaths. Y'all can see this on the screen. No breaths. I'm there arguing the shit. Of course, because engineers never clean up breathing. You got it. I'm arguing with these niggas. You got me. I'm like the old head who got caught by the the, the telemarketing scam. You know what I'm saying? My question I was asking, is this AI too? People say absolutely, big time. If this is AI, it's way better than the first one. Y'all keep posting these obvious AI-generated tracks. You're ruining the beef. Is it us who's ruining the beef? I didn't make the AI track. I'm just I'm just a media outlet. Right? This guy says right here, long live um Jeff's says, How can you tell if it's AI or not? He can't tell. Right? Like I said in the beginning of this, like Kendrick distorts his voice all the time. 
So what was y'all tells? Okay, Common Gang Strong. Let me know what y'all tells was of, oh, obvious, obviously. Come on, Friday. Friday. Come on. You didn't see that one. I can see that one a hundred miles away. Ramsey Bankroll, thanks for the donation. It's big salute. He said, first music video. Um, they, they hate. Let me know what you think. Is there a link in here? Hold on. Let me go on my chat. Let me see if she sent a link. Because you can't really send links from uh, over here on YouTube. But if you all want, if you have a link of a music video you want, you want to send me the review, send it over to we love hip hop Toronto at gmail.com. I'll definitely do a review. Um, RBG Investment says, so does Kendrick have a diss track where or where a couple of them AI? I only knew of Drake and Ross paying attention to. Yeah, okay, right now, and I'll get to the whole Drake and Ross stuff. Big salute to Randy. He's Looking for some attention. Um, yeah, we love hip hop Toronto at gmail.com, Ramsey. All right, I'll put it up on the screen here quick fast. But um, here's the thing. Yes, it's definitely a distraction, but people are trying to say that right now that distraction is because of Drake. Okay, X file sounds right there. All right, they're saying since Drake dropped the push-ups, drop and give me 50, that his game is switched now to let me just do the internet thing, okay? <clears throat> and from there on, now he's been just sending out, I guess, bots. And there's been whole think pieces and conversations going on saying, yes, this is what he did last time with Meek. The, you know, this is well in the boys um, wheelhouse. Like, don't you know, he's, you know, I, listen, I feel like I'd be in the know of a lot of stuff, but I'm not, a, I'm not a big conspiracy theorist like that. Okay. I enjoy a good conspiracy theory here and there, but I'm not the guy who will die on the hill of a conspiracy. All right. I do remember the uh, the boy at one point in time being very um, proficient in using the internet from back in the days. Okay, and not to say that like if there is bots that Drake's the one like behind his keyboard <laughs> working on sending out bots. Like I, I just can't see it. I don't think he has that kind of time on his hands. However, what do y'all think? Do y'all think this is in some way some kind of plan concocted by the boy to make sure that when Kendrick's track does drop, there's confusion around it? Now people are like, mm. the AIs are kind of hotter still. All right? Is, is that what we're doing right now? The deception game? Ooh. All right? Because if that's what we're doing right now, that's a whole new game. Like, I know we're in the internet age. We're in the clout era. Okay, I understand. Um, we're in the social media era where we're using more social media tactics these days. Right? But I, I don't know. It's just hard to, I, I can't see it. Okay? So I'm going to show you all something else here quick fast before we... uh. Now, you know what? Actually, we'll go here first. Well, let's go to the boy Hush Grams, a.k.a. OVO Hush, a.k.a. Young Tony. My nigga. My nigga. So in the caption, it says, when you find out this real, don't forget how trash it was as an AI. 
my name three times in front of your mirror. You hesitate to proceed after you reconsider. Lights flicker, the energy in the room shifted. Scared to open your eyes, cause you feeling the ghost of Kendrick. I dominated your favorite rap, but you idolized. My silence is enough to. Oh, there's the boy in the comments right there, laughing emoji. Make niggas apologize. Attract the statements, call the same regret and mislead. You know what I'm saying? Pushing plates. MCs dive and you revive a competitive spirit How to kill a rapper, let them do what's in they self Self-inflicted career wounds that fear helped Drop nukes, surprise moves, height of respect They promised me my death, now they deleted threats One rap nigga dead laid on the floor Does we love hip-hop in the comments right there? That's me and I didn't even have to throw bullets for him to go Now that we got that out of the way, it's one more to go Stop wasting time, let's get the show on the road It's not bad she kind of bumps. Niggas was ignoring repeat disses. And when they give us why they entertained it, it's weak disses. And now that it's correct, it's leaked disses from burner pages and all insecure behavior from niggas. Y'all call God. I think that, 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 that needs an East Coast stomp. I know that you were sensitive and emphasis on lame, seeking validation from rap critics, slandering names. Legacy forever submitted. I will reign. The next move make. Brought me back to the 90s. Holy. Almost broke a hip. Y'all feeling this right here? It's not bad still. Let me hear a little bit more. The best move is detrimental. Uh, grab your glass when you see cake dot. Better car ghost riders just to beat cake dot. I came with a full click, but only need one shot. No big three to stop. Had to do the wop to that one. Dynamic uno cake dot. Cake dot. Probably back to the 90s, bro. Jeez. Felt nostalgic. So, um, yeah, that happened. But let me take y'all somewhere else. Okay. Let me take y'all somewhere else. Let's go around on a little journey. Let's go around on a little journey. So this gentleman's name here is um, Cider Rapper. Okay. And here's what he had to say. Let's give it a full screen. Let's go side. Rapper here, and this is how I created the viral AI Kendrick Lamar diss track. Out of my name, two times in front of your mirror. You hesitate and proceed after you reconsider. Lights flicker, the energy in the room shifted. Scared to open your eyes, cause you feeling the ghost of Kendrick. Now first, you gotta get a beat that sound like chaos and the world is ending. So this is a beat that I cooked up. And you gotta write some lyrics and spit them the way. I'm not even playing. I'm playing with the. I'm playing with the um the '90s stuff. It was. It was. This should sound current, fam. Yeah, K. Dot will write them and spit them. Utter my name three times in front of your mirror. You have to take them proceed after you reconsider. I know Kendrick Lamar likes to emphasize his T's. Party, he can T T party. So we gotta incorporate that. Grab your Glocks when you see K Dot. Oh, see that hard T I was telling y'all about. Grab your Glocks when you see K Dot. I could do that. Dot. Most people just say dot. <laughs> do it again. Dot. Most people just say dot. He. K Dot. See that hard T I was telling y'all about. Dot. Most people just say dot. He. K Dot. Last but not least, I gotta put my B tag on it. Now let's listen to how the finish was out, Sam. Now this song is vibrant on YouTube. It's called One Shot. I ain't gonna lie, I shocked myself. I thought it was gonna sound fake. I thought people was gonna be able to tell it was fake. What's it called? Think Dang, what is it? What did he say it was called? I, I ain't gonna lie, I shocked myself. I thought it was gonna sound fake. I thought people better cargo sweaters just to be kicked out. I came with a full click, but only need one shot. No. Now this song is viral on YouTube. It's called One Shot. I it's one shot. Hmm. We gotta go check that out later. I ain't gonna lie, I shocked myself. I thought it was gonna sound fake. I thought people was gonna be able to tell it was fake. People think it's actually real. So I just wanna come out for the record and say that it's AI. That's not Kendrick. <laughs> response i know ha -ha. kendrick gonna come harder than that i just couldn't get too that's what you said about yourself bro believe in yourself my nigga you sound better than kendrick disrespectful because i ain't in a beef you feel me ain't nobody diss me it's actually funny i seen drake heard it and commented <laughs> he laughed
I can't even say that I'm laughing at at y'all. I'm laughing at all of us. Okay. Or I'm laughing at myself. All right. Like I said, I'm the old head that got caught in the tele, uh, you know, the telemarketing scam. Would you like to buy a hundred pens from our company and you can get your logo on the pen? Sure. Where can I sign up? All right. That's me. Kendrick, you got a new song? Oh my God. What do you say about Drake? Oh my God. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, gang. Sometimes you get fooled. You get hoodwinked. All right. It's not my fault, fam. But yeah, so now we have two AI songs out there. Look at the man smile. Look at look at his face. <laughs> Get him! Right? There's two, there's two culprits out there. Let me ask you guys another question. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's ask another question. Let's do another poll. The poll that I have up right now, pause, um, is asking, was the AI fire? Was it fire though? Okay. Dusty Wallace salutes. <laughs> I told him, fam, you were standing on business. Like, no, you guys are crazy. Stop this. We're arguing this nigga down. No, this is why. Because, you know, the modulitudes of the longitudes and the langitudes, we're just making up shit. <laughs> But I was just like, damn, if it is, whoo-wee. the first one, the second one, the one that this guy made here on the screen, yeah. I don't want to diss you, homie, but it was kind of mid. All right, broski, if you see this, like, it's no disrespect to you. Your music's probably hard as shit. Okay, we'll we'll even go one further and go give you another, give you a quick little search over here on the on the TikToks. What do you got to say? Let me give him a quick follow. Bong. Even though my follow don't matter. I got I ain't got shit on TikTok. Actually, I got a little bit more followers than this nigga still. Not gonna lie. Um he's got 13,000 followers. Um, what else is he saying? We gonna make an AI song that go from this. Okay, I'm back, Pablo. We make a scene and leave oh, the Diablo. Again. To this. Okay, I'm back, Pablo. We make a scene and leave in the Diablo. First thing I gotta do is cook up a hard ass beat. What's up with the hat, fam? So I'm gonna snap my fingers and the beat gonna be done. Yo, fam, yo, Next you I should write the yay verse and jump in the booth and do my best. You might need to start sending out some beat packs, bro. Whoa, that's not bad still. The nigga in the comments said corny alien dude. That's Kanye person. Yo, why are you wearing a freaking yo fam? Gang, y'all seeing this? Why does the nigga got a pot on his head, bro? What? Yo, I, sometimes I got to pinch myself and just see if I'm dreaming or if I'm actually in the real universe. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really feel like at this point we're living in a simulation. Like, real, real shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Peace loves it. He's cooking. That's what it is. He's, he's cooking up. We just think we just ain't picking up what he's putting down. I okay, I understand. Nation, the more I sound like him, the better. Okay, I'm back, Pablo. We make a scene and leave in the Diablo. Uh -huh. Let's listen to the final result. Okay, I'm back, Pablo. We make a scene and leave in the Diablo. Easy with scene and decent with a mile. Uh -huh. Can't pass TMZ without getting followed. Man, what's the point of having nice cars? If you ain't standing no niggas with nine to five jobs. Huh? It's not bad still. <laughs> I'm not mad at this. That's how hard it is some Kanye shit. Holy. Bring that shit back. That shit is fire. Play that again. Scene and decent with a mob. Okay, I'm back, Pablo. We make a scene and leave in the Diablo. Easy with scene and decent with a motto. Shank past TMZ without getting followed. Man, what's the point of having nice cars? You ain't standing no niggas with nine to five jobs. Woo! My YouTube channel, the song is called. The nigga bought the old yeah. Oh, you want that old yeah back? 
He want that Oye back. He back in AI. Okay. Jeez, I want to hear that again. That, that shit was fire. Again. Sin with a motto, can't pass though. We ain't make a scene and leave in the Diablo. Let's listen to the final result. Okay, I'm back, Pablo. We ain't make a scene and leave in the Diablo. Yeezy was seen and decent with a motto. Can't pass TMZ without getting followed. Man, what's the point of having nice cars? What's the point? Stand no niggas with nine to five jobs. Huh? If you like to hear the full song, go to my YouTube channel. The song is called Alumni versus Freshman. Comment below Ooh. how you think the song came out. And we bless the kids, the Lord show. Wake up, Mr. West. Mr. West, and that's why we are loud and we get uh, loud like la la yeah. la la la. Okay, I'm back, Pablo. We ain't make a scene and leaving at Diablo. He's a scene and decent with a motto. Can't pass TMZ without getting followed. No. Man, uh, what's the that, that blonde freaking white bitch? Come on, man, get her out of here, bro. Can't even pass TMZ without being followed. I hear you. I hear you, AIA. Jeez, spitting niggas dropping facts. Yo, Kanye, you need to call this nigga, bro. You know what I'm saying? Right now. That should sound harder than anything I heard from Kanye in a long time, bro. Whoa. This is where we're at right now, gang. Everything's AI. I'll ask you guys again. You know, I didn't even do the poll. What I want to know before we get off of this topic here, I'll start a new poll. Let's get rid of the old one. I start a new one. Is OVO responsible for the AI? Sorry, I don't have my sound effects with me today, so I can't, you know what I'm saying? Is it an OVO thing? Is it an OVO thing? Our man sending out the bots. Okay? Are they putting a little money in these guys' pockets? Right? What's this guy's name again? Um, Cy the Rapper. Sounds very close to somebody else who got somebody with the rapper at the end of their name. Sai Hai the rapper? Hmm. 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 And now if like let's say let's let's theorize. Okay, if it is the Movio boys that are putting out these, you know, AIs, paying guys to do AI and then hoodwink the industry, how much would somebody have to pay? for somebody to do an AI, all right? How much would it be worth to a rapper to go home, make a fake Kendrick song, put it out into the, oh yeah, Sai Hi the Prince. Thank you, uh, Gucci, uh, Gucci Ghost. I'm there reaching, reaching violation. <laughs> Technical file, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me go back to Instagram. That's what I'm doing. Pow. Spread out. So this is the guy. Okay. Is it the OVO camp that's putting out all of these little these little things here? And if so, why would they want to do that? Okay. Do you guys think that it's really taking away from when Kendrick really drops his, his tune? Will it be underwhelming when it's finally Kendrick's tune? And just to go further down the theory, the, 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 the theory road. Okay. And listen, this is, I'm being object, objective, and I'm going to play devil's advocate. If it was them OVO boys to, you know, be putting out these AI feelers, okay, which I don't think it is, but let's be objective for a second. If it was them, maybe the trend started from when they did the first leak, okay? When they first, 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 first leaked the song, 
and everybody was confused. Right, this is the this is the actual song now. And right now it's still currently I can never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one. Sorry. It's still currently not on streaming platforms. I really don't think it's gonna be on streaming platforms. The only person who ran to the streamers is 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 Ricky. Not me, Officer Ricky. All right. So the first thing that we did here was something way different. Let me see if I can find that one. Let's go find that one quick fast. I think I had it on my Percy page. Like our first reaction to when it first dropped. Uh, is this it? No. They've been swinging at No. That's not it. That's not it. Let me go back to We Love Hip Hop page. I must have posted it over there. Uno momento, gang. I'm going to find it. Because we, when we first heard it, we heard it under a different beat. Um... No, this is the original post. I think I had it on YouTube. I'll, look, I'll go find it after. Where we were reacting to the original, original tune here. I'll find it right now. I'll find it now. Let's go back over here. Bada boom, bada bing. Let's go to the channel quick, fast. Oh, on a moment, gang. It was right here. Skeptical. Maybe. 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 Age. It don't make. It don't make. Because. Oh. That might be real time. Hour ago. So let's let's hear this. Skeptical, bro. <laughs> no. AI. Nah. Get it out of here. <laughs> I could never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. Oh. So that a version right there. Okay. You could even hear it was slower. His voice didn't have as much oomph in it. Everybody was speculating at that point that that was AI. Okay. Or a rough copy or a leak. All right. But one of the things that got thrown into the conversation now, like, let's say this was like 10 years ago. This might have been, yo, did somebody let out the rough copy? But now in these days and times, everybody's like, oh, is that AI? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Dusty, we got that on the list. The NBA young boy got arrested a, a, a few hours back. Then. Man, don't like, he don't want to give up the drugs. But um, yeah, from run, when, we, when we first heard the first version of Drop and Give Me 50, or before we even knew they had a song title. The first speculation was, oh, this must be AI. Okay? And we weren't the only ones. Like, a lot of people were speculating whether this was AI or not. Okay? So, when the final version finally dropped, and we got to hear, you know, the version with more oomph, everybody got to hear, you know, what it really sounded like, there was still a little bit of speculation at first. But after a while, you know, from once he sent it to academics and a few other places, everybody was like, yeah, that's it. We got it. We're here now. Okay. And we got this. Hey, I can never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I know my picture on the wall when y'all cook up. Extortion, baby, hope the red, you been shook up. This top told you drop and give me 50 likes of push ups. Listen, I, I think I, I don't know if I've told y'all before. I approve. This shit is fire. Okay. The more I listen to it, I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. He's at these guys' neck. This is the this is the trick that we were waiting for um when the last album dropped. 
okay? Even the little the five pack or six pack that he dropped at the end of for all the dogs didn't sound like this. This type of energy. Okay? Cool. Your last one brick, you really not on shit. They make excuses for you cause they hate to see me lit. Uh -huh. Pull your contract, cause we gotta see the split. The way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. You better do that motherfucking show inside the bitty. Maroon five need a verse, you better make it witty. Uh -huh. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Top say drop, you better drop and cook. I Jesus Christ. So I say all that to say has you know, if those guys have been putting out all this whole AI thing and, you know, as of right now, and I don't want to jinx it because I want to be able to still run this during the live streams, not get any copyrights, all that good stuff. You know, just leaving the song on the Internet, not in one specific place where you can find it, like not one general. OK, go to Drake's page, go to Drake's YouTube, go to Drake's SoundCloud. There's not one central place where you can get this song. It's all over the place. People are taking it from Axe Stream. People are taking it from YouTube post of it. There's not one specific place where you're able to find push-ups. Okay? If I'm wrong, let me know. But the song has never officially been released. So to add to you conspiracy theory um, thinkers, the, the conspiracy theorists, if the OVO camp did put out all of these Kendrick Lamar AI tracks to try to distract the people, try to make Kendrick's, you know, official release underwhelming, then technically they would have started the trend from drop and give me 50 when the quote unquote leak dropped. Because now the language is all in there. This is AI. This could be AI. Is this the real this song? You know, man's are on the clock. Because the only first thing, and I'm just theorizing objectively, that we've seen now of this disc that started becoming an AI speculation was the drop and give me 50. The original version, the leaked version. Okay? Now, who leaked the song? That's another question. Who leaked the original leak? How did that even get on the internet? When we found it, it was on a on a page called um, Rap Something. Okay? And then when I went, to, well, you know, while we were filming the pod in real time, when we went back to look for it, it was gone. Okay? So who is responsible for the leak? Okay, the leak being the drop and give me 50 leak. All right, there's a lot of questions if you want to be a conspiracy theorist. All right. Stop and give them fit, Pip squeak, pipe down. You ain't in no big three. Scissor got you wiped down. Anyhow, we'll get off of this here. Big salute to the boy. I'm waiting for this Kendrick Lamar response. Um, what are we today? We're Wednesday. I've seen a lot of different people saying that the you know Kendrick Lamar is on the clock right now. Um, how much time do you guys give Kendrick Lamar to respond? Okay. Are we going to give him another, are we giving him till Friday until this weekend? Drake dropped this weekend. Has everybody talking now? Are we giving Kendrick till this weekend to be able to do the same thing? All right. Let me know in the comments below. Comment gang strong. Um, yeah, but still let's stay on the distractions. Okay, and I'm just looking at the poll right here. Pause. Um, is OVO responsible for the AI? Holy shit, snacks. 50 50? What? That's how the man them are feeling? 50 50? Wow. Y'all don't trust them niggas like that, bro. Oh. Y'all niggas moving like Metro and Future. We don't trust you. Oh, that's crazy. I thought y'all had way more love for the boy, man. That's crazy. 
Wow. Saying the, the, the OVO boys are deceptive, putting out bots out there, spamming comments. You know what I'm saying? Calling people serpents and marsupials and all types of stuff. You know what I'm saying? I don't miss nothing. I miss nothing. Um, let's let's move on. Speaking of of distractions, let me go on Rick Ross's page quick fast. Let's check on Ross. Let's see what he's saying. Because after Drake dropped his song on Saturday, obviously Ross came back. Oh, and Ross came back with a with a pretty nice tune. I'm not going to run to play the tune here on um, the stream right now. Okay, he's got me kind of worried because I did react to the um, to the song um, the last stream that we did. Okay, a couple of days ago. This song here, um, Champagne Moments. And, you know, everybody, for the love of the sport, I'm thinking, it's just letting these songs go free. Yo, we're battling, yo. Just analyze the song. Who cares about the numbers? So when Drake dropped and didn't put it on any streaming platforms, I was like, okay, let the internet eat. When Ross decided that he wanted to drop and follow up and... To be honest, I don't feel like Ross really added to too much more. I do agree that that whole thing with the French Montana, um, you know, use, uh, sending sending French Montana a cease and desist, that was some juicy, some some juicy news right there. That was some tea, okay. Ross spilled out some tea right there. I'm not mad at that one. Let me go on Twitter. Where where did I put this um, Ross tune? Did I put it on my personal page? Rosé! Oh! Uh. Fish tanks and marble floors living big and bad. Niggas laugh until they hit with my official jab. Crack smoke is the exhaust from my pen and pad. Right. At your chain, if bitches you can't let you get on my songs. It was good for your face. Now bitch nigga is home and no room for debate. Pop a perk for the field. You ain't never want to be a nigga anyway, nigga. That's why you had operation to make your nose smaller than your father knows, nigga. I don't follow you, nigga, because you sent the motherfucking cease and desist to French Montana. Okay. So that's the only thing that we got added to the, um, what we didn't know. And this is just Ross. I don't know if this is true. Okay. This is what Ross is saying. So it continued. Drizzy had a conversation with his mom. And I'm going to put allegedly on that because I don't really think that he actually had this conversation with his mom. We're living in the AI world. We're living in a world now where we don't know what's real from what's fake. So when you see something, believe half of what you see. Or whatever the term goes. I know there's some kind of term. Half of what you see and half of what you hear or some shit like that. You know what I'm talking about, gang. Okay. Sorry, I'm just changing the um, thumbnail in the background. Yeah, believe half of what you hear and only what you see and something, something, something. Okay. So the conversation I have up on the screen here, it says, Obs, the internet is saying you got a nose job. You look the same to me as in the kitchen today. I can't believe you would get one without me. Laughing emoji. Because you know I always wanted one. Don't tell me you got the tattoos without me. Um, now, um, now this. Now this too? Then Drake responds. Allegedly. He says, I would have gotten a two for one deal if I went, ma. It's coming from Rick Ross. The guy I did songs with. He's gone loopy off the mueño. I think that's our Manjaro. I'm sorry. He got loopy off the Manjaro and hasn't eaten in days and has turned him angry and racist and performing at prom for money. It's bad. Don't worry. We'll handle it. Okay. And I think I went over this on my last stream. All right. I'm catching some deja vu. I don't know if this is how, you know, the. We know what we know from what the man from what the man shows us. Okay, so I can't guarantee 
that this is I don't know how he talked to his mom. Like this, 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 this sound cool. You know what I'm saying? Like this sounds like a cool conversation. It doesn't look like it can be fake. They got jokes. You know what I'm saying? But it also would be a great thing if it was fake. But you change what you bitch. Right? So, since then, I don't know what happened with Rick Ross, but he's just gone nuclear. I guarantee he still has stories left. First of all, look at this gang. I'll show you something. Let me show y'all something. Look at the mount. Okay, look at the top of the screen. Let me pause this. Look at the top of the screen, gang. Y'all can see up here where all the little dots are. Let me put the mouse over. All these little dots up here. <sighs> you know when you're a media outlet and you post stories, you post bare stories, like you're a media outlet. That's what you do. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes I've had like a, a high story posting day and it, it looks maybe half of that. The dots are small, right? they're small but not this small this looks like about I'm not even going to try to eyeball this right there but if I was I would say this looks like about 300 stories you got to relax Rose okay this is 23 hours ago the boss Okay, he's advertising his drink. Now, let's stop here. The Bel Air Rosé. Bel Air Rosé. Oh. But look who he's with. He's with Yachty. The Bel Air Rosé. Oh. Okay. Let's continue. Okay, I guess he's got an interview coming up. Let's continue. Interview, interview. Uh, let's stop there. Bel Air Rose, who's the biggest boss? I'm being so affected by something that, that genuinely ain't got nothing to do with them. If you're living your life and you're getting money, I'm living my life. Boss. And I'm getting money. What's the problem? What's the problem? You know what I'm saying? Let's stop this one here. BBL Drizzy at Champagne Poppy. Um, okay. And he's posting a tweet here from Metro Boomin. Oh, no, this is not from Metro Boomin. I think Metro Boomin is liking this. Drake calling Rick Ross racist is exactly what white a white person would say in response. Y'all always having me defending this nigga, bro. Over stupid shit, too. It's not even, like, like valid points. This is the thing that I don't like, okay? Because it's like, I don't want to be the guy who's always like, nah, that sounds good, but... Because then it sounds like, oh, fam, why are you always defending Drake? It's not that. I even have this. I've told y'all this before. I have the same problem with Joe Button. Y'all niggas, when you say something, you don't just say something that can be in the realm of factual. You go so far off the deep end that niggas have to be like, come on, fam. Nah, bro. And like, even for niggas that you don't like, now you're defending them because you're like, bro, you're just saying, you're just saying outlandish shit, just trying to just stir up the argument. When you know that you don't believe that shit. That's the shit that be getting me. Then you're like, now nah, now I gotta defend somebody again because you're just seeing wild shit. When you see Drake walking down the street, you don't look and say, oh, look at that white guy. He looks like he got a nose job. You can just say say words just to have their hear their own voice, man. Oh. 
Okay, here's this. At little yo, and he's at in niggas too. This is the annoying part. Like, bro, what? Stop at in niggas, bro. The nigga has a uh, eight thousand posts up here, eight thousand story posts, and you're at in niggas. Hey, hey guys, hey guys, can I join the fun too? Can I be in the beef, guys? Guys, 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 guys. Like nigga, we nah, fam. We got bigger fish to fry. We ain't playing with you, Ross. At Lil Yachty, aka the pen, stream now. At Champagne Poppy, hashtag White Boy, hashtag RP. Yo, bro, like, get away, man. This nigga's at an Uma Thurman. Uma Thurman, like, you know what? She kind of bought herself into it still. I'm not going to lie. I was about to say, like, Uma Thurman is, like, at home doing white people shit. She ain't got no time for y'all. But she did insert herself into the beef by sending the boy a picture of the of the, the Kill Bill jacket. She's like, oh, my God, rap beef. Can I? Hey, Drake. This kind of reminds me of our, of my movie. When I was in Kill Bill, I felt like everybody was against me. And I had to channel myself for the role. So I completely understand where how you feel and where you're coming from. That's not some some like some real white lady shit to do. You know what I'm saying? Them say them same ones that go over like overseas and start helping the gorillas and shit. You know what I'm saying? I can totally empathize with how you feel, Aubrey. Here's a picture of my jacket. Like, shut up. Get out of here. You're not into this. Go back and do actor shit. Now now you got Ross on your neck. Adding you in. She's probably like, Rick Ross? Why is Rick Ross adding me? What does it say? At Uma Thurman, at Champagne Poppy, hashtag BBL Drizzy. Um, I really love this. Quentin Tarantino wrote it. Hashtag Writers United. <laughs> Yo, Ross kind of funny still. I ain't going to lie. He got jokes. I'll give him that. Mic me up. It's fine. Y'all see me here live on set 57 Freddy. This is the very first episode, season one, where your car at. We don't care about that. We've been creative. Crea we don't care about that. Rose. And now he's getting... He's getting at 1090 Jake because 1090 Jake exposed him. 1090 Jake just reiterated what everybody already knew about him with the whole corrections officer thing. I'm a fan of Rick Ross's music, which means I was able to compartmentalize him being a corrections officer for real and just enjoying his music as a rapper. Okay? I didn't erase in my brain that he was a corrections officer. I just accepted it. You know what I'm saying? Let me ask you guys a quick question in the chat here. <coughs> Is Rick Ross thirsty? I know y'all going to have all these hungry jokes for him, but is he thirsty? Okay. Because, like, the nigga just gave you a half a bar, bro. Maybe one punch, half a punch. And you're bent out of shape, bro. I'm on slide number 20 out of your 850. Come on, fam. You're coming unraveled, bro. You're like, you're adding everybody in the city, everybody in the, in the, in the, in the industry. Uma Thurman. Who else? 1090 Jake. Who else? You're going to add Ob Obama and who else now, bro? Walk on. 1090 Jake. Rat. Ha at uh, Champagne Poppy. Hashtag white boy. Who next? Hashtag BBO Drizzy. Like, now when other niggas try to respond to him, like the Drake, Rick Ross have, are, has already ran this whole BBL shit into the ground. That it's going to make everybody else sound stupid if they try to run that play. So there you go, Ross. If you're trying to help in the beef, you're hurting Kendrick. I'm just saying. 
You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if that's what you mean to do, but you're hurting Kendrick way more by not shutting the fuck up. Look at this. Why are you showing cars, bro? I'm feeling like the bigger person. I'm the bigger person. I'm a boss. Drake, boss. I'm going to give you an opportunity to apologize. First and foremost, you got to admit, confess you got your nose, your nose reduction. And confess you got a BBL. And I understand. Gang, sometimes I feel like, I, I swear to God, I feel like I'm living in a simulation. Like, did he do this when he was beefing with 50? We didn't have in we didn't have Instagram at that time, obviously. But we had the, the internet. When him and 50 were going back and forth, did he have this kind of energy? Or is he just talking to Drake like this because he thinks he's sweet? Or he thinks Canadians are sweet. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's then maybe that's where I want to go with it. Stand. I know what it's like having those flaps on your stomach and that sweat being under there. You ain't want to do that. You wanted to just fuck a gym, nigga. You, you drizzy, you BBL, nigga. You could go get it done. And you did it. And just you did confess. it. Confess. I know you're not going to respond. And this pace is boring me. It's moving too slow. Nigga, he has to worry about Kendrick, not you. When I came in the game, you had to move fast, drop a freestyle, freestyle Fridays. Now this shit social media. I can't do it. You got your minions. What's the word? You can't do it? My nigga, there's about 1,200 slides here. What are you saying? The white boy named P1090. He looked like a fucking wet little whale flapping. <laughs> shut up. Get Mind your business, PN. This nigga's trying to tell somebody to shut up. Fam, you have about 2,500 slides over here, my nigga. Man apologize i'm feeling like the bigger person and you're I'm reposting big. other niggas posting about it what is this hip-hop wolf the hip-hop wolf like maybe i should have added ross yesterday i think i did but like you didn't repost me nigga what you seen a toronto location you got scared of the six entertainment says rick ross is turning into zerka rick zerka You know when you're embarrassed from somebody, but you you know they, they you don't even mess with them like that. Like you're embarrassed for them. You're just watching the way they're moving. You're like, mm. yikes, awkward. That's how I feel about Ross right now, especially like having the man's whole collection of music in my in my phone. I'm like, mm. I know Drake's like. Uh, awkward. Yeah, yeah. I, I used to hang out with that guy. Bigger person. I'm a boss. Drake. I'm a geek. White boy. White boy. BBL Drizzy. I got a. <laughs> this is 19 hours ago. Question. I saw you posted. You got more money than Ricky Rose. And let's assume you did. Well, your best friend Birdman, his house went into foreclosure five years ago. You don't watch that man struggle them five years and ain't get that man a mansion. Because if you got more money than Rose, what's another 50 million, white boy? See this right here? This is douchebag behavior. Okay? This the type shit. This is straight up douchebag behavior. When you're like watching niggas' pockets, like broke douchebag behavior, and he's not even broke. Ross got money. It's not even like Ross don't got money, but this is broke douchebag behavior. Yo, fam. What's up with you and the crew, fam? Yo, I see that mans are up right now, fam. So what? 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 Mans are not spending money on the whole crew? Why don't all you guys have Rolls Royce, fam? Yo, fam, what are you talking about? These niggas is driving around in Range Rovers and all types of fly whips. Yeah, but they don't have a Rolls Royce like you. You shut up, bro. Get out of my pocket, bro. That's the kind of behavior that this nigga Rick Ross is exhibiting right now. Real
douchebag behavior. It's cringe. And I like rock. Like, fam, don't make me not want to listen to your music no more, my nigga. White boy, it's one for 40 on Indian Creek. It's one for 50 on Star Island. You you're, you're looking around at prices of homes for other niggas? Cringe. Got 48 hours, white boy. If you got Ricky Rose money, ain't none of my niggas winning foreclosure. Come on. And you're putting a timeline on other niggas' money, bro? Douchebag behavior. A white boy, I'm finna bust a bottle. White boy, don't do stunner like that. Come on, man. What happened to that? He needs to turn his hat to the back. Douche, be full douche. You know what I'm saying? Complete douche. Max level boss douche. 48 hours, the countdown has begun. And that old ass jet you got, they gave it to you free. That's a 1970. You remember, y'all remember the meme? The douchebag meme? You know what I'm talking about, right? The, um, he's a douchebag. You know he's a douchebag when? It was like a popular thing back in, I don't know, 2015 or something. It was like, it kind of predated social media. You know what I'm saying? It was, or it was very early in the game. The douchebag meme. This shit. Hold on. <laughs> Why don't I get this one here? These guys. Come on. I'm pressing the wrong one. Let me go to this one here. Let's go to images. Y'all remember all these douchebag memes? This one was the one like. <laughs> hey, can I borrow? Everything. This is what Rick Ross is doing right now. Okay. Y'all ain't seen that on the screen. Let me go to let me um switch the screen because I'm y'all ain't even seeing what I'm talking about. I'm I'm gonna give y'all the, the full presentation right here. Bring it full douchebag, complete douchebag level, max level boss douchebag. Um, right here, images, pow. Okay, constantly calls people douchebag, is a douchebag. Okay, this is what we're dealing with with Ross right now. Y'all remember these memes? These were classic. I don't remember exactly what year these were. Has his own place. It's all packed. Going to live with his girlfriend. <laughs> Yet, all he does is complain. Only BJ. <laughs> Classic shit. When you finally secure the bag. Okay, with the hat to the back. This is what Ross is doing to us right now. All right. He needs to chill, bro. Let's go back there. Yeah, be safe on that, Drizzy. Be safe on that plane. That old motherfucker. God, is great. Hey, no, this shit is really funny. because Right? All he needs to do is take the hat and turn it to the back. Secures the bag. I'm going to tell you, I was like battling against nerds. is like sitting in a class and you watching all the nerds put together their best science project to present to the class. Man, y'all can. This nigga saying he's battling against all of the nerds. You're battling one guy who wasn't even battling you in the first place. He gave you a little. Uh, just hold that. Get away. Big man's are talking. And you got bent out of shape. Yeah, that shit ain't with that shit. Nigga, your nose fake. Your stomach fake. You don't write raps. Your biggest homies in foreclosure. Come on, man. Go buy all them niggas that's living with each other, a big man. Why don't you go back to the studio and say all this? And put the, the, the BBL Drizzy logo on the gates, man. Feed them niggas, man. Come on, man. Do that shit, man. And when I was watching this yesterday, okay, because I'm re-watching this, 
I was thinking to myself, and I don't want to sound like the, the Drake defender, but I'm going to defend Drake. What you doing for your niggas right now, my nigga? What's Ross niggas saying? Or all, did Ross put all his niggas up in houses? If he has a crew of 10 niggas, let's say, we're not even going to go high on the amount of niggas in his crew. There's 10 niggas in his crew. Do they all have 10 mansions? You know what I'm saying? With the moat and about four Rolls Royces out, out front like you? Because that's what you're trying to tell Drake to do with all his niggas. And, and Birdman. Get Birdman, the guy who's been getting a percentage of his money, go get him a mansion. Douchebag behavior. Y'all need to pray for Drake and tell him, park that old ass plane. It's a 1978 the cargo jet. People gave it to him free for promo. And I ain't hating, but be safe, my nigga. If something was to happen to you and I couldn't tell you this, be safe. And anybody getting on it, be safe, man. Wear your seat belts and make sure the oxygen things in there because that shit was just for luggage. That's kind of facts, though. It wasn't for human beings. Now, <laughs> like he went to another part of the house to continue his rant. Look at the nigga. This nigga's talking about BBL and got teeth BBL. Got BBL in his mouth. No diddy. And it low key he probably got some of the fat sucked out of him too. Pause. Like, don't do that, fam. Don't be the pot calling the kettle black. The car show tickets. Y'all know they damn near sold out. Y'all know that. What the fuck what? Car it's show. a perfect opportunity for y'all to see the type of nigga white boy he is. Soon as that pressure on white boy, he gonna go post stun him. Stun in that twenty dollar jogging suit. No, the man needs some paper and make him say, "I got your back." He don't want to say that to that mark. Nigga ain't got that mark back. That mark ain't. Look how many slides we are in, and this is only this is nineteen hours ago. Imagine what he's doing now. Fed him none, but since you don't watch him struggle and gave him nigga, show the world you go buy him posting when you go buy him a motherfucking forty million dollar mansion, white boy, huh? Huh? <laughs> Soon as Rose on your ass and you call your mama, then I'm going I'm to post Birdman and kiss him on TV. Mm. Yo, he's going crazy. <laughs> oh, we're like the same age, my nigga. Like, stop. Mm. Nah, nah, that's what white boys do. Show your real niggas when you go buy them that big mansion. Mm. This nigga went... <laughs> Oh, we're living in a simulation, man. You know how Stunner and them used to do it, nigga? Huh? When Stunner was on top, nigga, huh? when you was... Come on, white boy, show the world. We watching now. Ooh, you post a nigga when you need him. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, I need you to play that. <laughs> what happened to that crib? <laughs> what happened to that crib? <laughs> Come on, Drizzy. Come on, white boy. Come on. Come on, white boy. Soon as you get in that trouble... Ooh, I gotta go. What does it say? Hashtag nose job poppy. <laughs> Listen, fam. If he decides to retire from rap, he has a promising career in stand-up. That's the one thing for sure. This nigga can get on stage and cook. And I'm not talking about cook a burger. He could do that too. But he can get on stage and really get his get his jokes off. You might need to go over to the to the laugh factory or something, my nigga. Go stand next to the niggas. Ooh, we just watched this on for real time. See, see, white boy, I'm a different kind of nigga. I'm a different kind of nigga. Rose, nigga, I'm rich. Like, can we take this nigga seriously now when he gets back to the booth? Like, we're literally watching him unravel in real time. Nigga, I don't need you for a remix, white boy. I don't need now you. you don't need him for a remix. All remakes. them other niggas want to tell you what I'm telling you. I'm saying it for all the niggas who ain't in my position. <laughs> what happened to that crib? <laughs> Come on, nah, we ain't getting slimy yet. We're just warming up. White boy want it. If you want it, nigga, be... Bro, he mentioned you in one bar. 
This song was not for you. Your name is not Kendrick Lamar. Nigga, be about it. Put it on Miss Gladys, nigga. We all got them. We all Why got are you them. bringing up Birdman's mom? Let the dogs loose. Y'all niggas want to go now? Let's go now. This Rose, bitch. Now, <laughs> the car show tickets. This niggas. No, no, ain't thirsty. nothing wrong with talking shit. But oh, God. Stop it, bro. Drake, you got to keep it at one line. That shit you're doing got to take 20 minutes. One line or don't DM me no more. White boy, why? So, <laughs> let's get, we'll get back to this guy in a second. This is a lot. This is a lot. Rose, Renzel, this is a lot, man. You might need to go talk to your therapist, bro. This is a lot, man. Embarrassed. I'm embarrassed for you, my guy. I might take it latest girl a cuff of like on Vicky. Huh? Can't believe he jumping in. <clears throat> so this is what Ross is talking about. All right. He sent Drake, or like he kept on adding Drake. Okay. So obviously, when you add somebody on Instagram, it's like a digital poke pause. I got you, uh, Ramsey. I'm gonna I'm gonna check that out. I don't think I could play it on stream. If it's unofficial, I might be able to run a little bit of, of it on stream after this. Let me know in the, in the comments, uh, brother. Um, now, when you keep on sending somebody or adding somebody or tagging somebody, let's say, in the stories especially, it's going to pop up in that person's DMs. Okay? So Drizzy decided to let us see how he talks to Renzel, a.k.a. Rick Ross. And he says, look how I talk to this turkey. Um, you should just ask for another, you should have just asked for another feature. Okay, he's talking to us. The turkey, he's talking to you, Ross. Imagine having 88 million to spend on a crib laughing emojis like crazy your shits um your shits be steel like you got them from the police auction your shits be steals so i guess he's talking about his cribs your star island house is on a silver or sorry on a sliver of cheesecake <laughs> um your lot, 40,000 square feet. My crib, 40,000 square feet, Leonard. How does that mean? It's the same. And you put a wrap on your timeshare jet. That's just coming off when the other people, um, um, when it's the other people's turn to fly. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. You're Brett Bearish worker. How many cases you got to move before you got to get the checks finally? Shit probably took a time uh took the timeline to see some real bread. What that mean? Decipher that for me, gang. You're Brett's son now. You're not Rosé anymore. This nigga's talking to him crazy, fam. And I think that's the last time that they've spoken to each other. Let me check on Drizzy quick fast. Let's check on Drake. What you up to, Drizzy? What you posting about? Oh, y'all seen this? Is this more subs? He's showing gang ties. With the whole HA, okay, Hells Angels stuff. Like, what does this mean? What does it mean? All right, another shot over here. I'll can see. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, and then him reposting these stories. This is from 19 hours ago. 
And he ain't posted and deleted. All right, he left it up. Pause. And then right here, he says, Rick, you sandwiched in, um, which is on brand. <laughs> Cause the vacant land, not yours. This shit is in my, this shit. Um, this shit, the Miami starter pack you living in. I can't see what it says over here. Oh, damn! Now I can see. I made. I just made it out. It was being covered by his thing here, by his um reply thing. He says you living in the content creator crib. He says the man's living in a content creator crib? No. Like a TikTok house, nigga? No. Are you sharing it with like some reality TV stars? Oh, no. He's living in the baddie's house? No. Don't do that. Don't do that. This nigga saying he's living in the baddie's house. Oh, no. Drake, don't do it, man. Have mercy on the boy, man. Have mercy on this nigga, bro. <laughs> oh, this is entertaining. But I will say... I Drizzy, I got a question. I see no, 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 no. I know why Drake don't do what I do when I talk and he don't talk. He'll take a picture and post because he got ghostwriters for his fucking captions. He got, <laughs> listen to me, he got people sitting around. What's Rick going to do? Douchebag behavior. Do next. Let's go. Let's go. Come up with it. Come on, BBL Driz. Don't you got things to do, nigga? Like, you have like a whole business to run. Like, nigga has Wingstop inventory to check and like. You know what I'm saying? You got to go to checkers and go check on the fries. Like, nigga. See, just pick your phone up and talk to the people. You okay? He already spoke to us, fam. He gave us the drop, uh, the, the push-ups tune, fam. You the only one who's talking. We're waiting for Kung Fu Kenny. We know you may be shallow. We know, but everything fine. Everything's going to be okay. It's therapeutic. Projection. Therapeutic. Release. Release. Projections. What's inside of it? It's called Earth Strong. I got one more question. Earth Strong? <sighs> now this nigga's giving me a headache, bro. I can't even imagine being Drake, yo. This nigga's probably so annoyed. Like, imagine. This nigga Drake probably still following this nigga. All right? He didn't even block him. I would have blocked this guy by now. For the amount of times this man tagged him. Fam, we're like, where are we now? We're on, what, a story number 700? I would have blocked this nigga by now. Question for BBL Drizzy. One more question. How long you... This the douchebag behavior shit I'm talking about. One more, one, wait, 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 wait. I know I've been bothering you all day, but one more question. What we call that right there? Douchebag behavior. About one more question, nigga. There's like eighty more slides. You gonna stay on that plane? It's dangerous. It's dangerous. It's a 1978 cargo plane wasn't built for humans. It's dangerous. Imagine a white boy with the soul plane. God! That's kind of funny still. Write that one down. Imagine a white boy with the soul How that boy Kaisenat do? <laughs> and he's at in Kaisenat. Like, okay, so where are we now? I can't even put it on one hand how many niggas this guy has added in his rant. The niggas at Uma Thurman, Kai Sinat, George Bush. Everybody's getting the at. <laughs> hey, no. Let's pray for Drake. Soul plane. Come on, man. You rich. You deserve better. 
now you're posting pictures with this nigga. Bro, cupcake drizzy with the nose emoji next. And you added him again. So you probably added this. You probably added the boy probably. If you take, a, you know, three quarters of all of these slides, maybe about 750 times. That's crazy. Off wherever, doing whatever, somewhere else. It just sort of, it bugged me, man. It, it bugged me because it was like somebody I looked up to at one point. It was somebody that I was like, I used to see out and be like, yo, that's that nigga. You know what I'm saying? He's <laughs> <laughs> Ross, touche with that one. That one is crazy. He's doing his thing. He opened for He leaned into the yard on <laughs> 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 I can't, I can't do it today with these niggas, bro. This is crazy. I'm crying, man. Jay, you know, he had records. He was killing them. He worked with Pharrell. He worked with the Clips. Oh. <laughs> this guy's going... Yo, HB, I'm going to leave your comment right there on the screen. Ross talking himself into a leg. Us for real. <laughs> Look at his legs exposed right there. Right there. Bang. <laughs> right on the inner thigh. <laughs> we need a marksman for this guy. Allegedly. No, no, no allegedly. Um, Hypothetically. <laughs> oh. Drake versus Rick Ross Mansion. Now we're into 17 hours in. This is a yo, the man's Instagram stories has become a movie. Okay, I wish I wish I bought popcorn for this. Dog. Not getting copyright. Wow. Petty spaghetti. So Drake's house is the one on the top. I think this is the embassy. This might be bridal path right here. And this is Ross on the acres. Oh. Oh. <sighs> this is intense. This is intense. House for house beef. <laughs> so the niggas got memes so plain and he got drake here in the front oh no oh no and he got the ovio yo who's working on this man's social media team This nigga's wearing cash money. Yo, you're changing clothes. Oh, this is from five hours ago. Okay, gang? You're changing clothes. Now, you woke up, new day, put on the cash money shirt, new chain. Now we got the white bottle, not the spike bottle. Okay? Douchebag behavior. Full effect. I'm not getting a copyright for you, my nigga. Not for your crash out, bro. It's probably 10 o'clock. Five hours ago. It was like 10 o'clock in the morning. You're drinking champagne. At... Nigga. I'm a awesome nigga like. You got issues, bro. Nigga's drinking champagne at 10 o'clock in the morning. Back on Drake's neck. Pause. This is what happens when you go to too many Diddy parties. Remember, you can find multiple pictures of Diddy and Rick Ross. Okay, I don't know about how many. I know there's pictures of Drake and Diddy, obviously, but there's nowhere close to as many pictures as Rick Ross and Diddy, and then his boy there, boy toy Meek Mill. Nowhere close. Now say some words. Glory, morning, glory. What a time to be alive. On some fly, beautiful shit. 
I'm sipping Luke Bell Air just for y'all, but make sure whatever going on in your life, you stick to the plan. Don't let nothing sidetrack you. Stick to the plan. Projection. Stick to your plan. Follow your motherfucking rules and guidelines you set for yourself to achieve your accomplishments. That's how it goes. I'm not saying objection. I'm not, I don't mean to say objection. I mean projection. You're projecting, my nigga. Oh, baby, this Friday is going down. Club Live is the biggest. Fake versus Rick Ross. Who is got How are you still at in this nigga, bro? Got a better mansion. Rick Ross owns the largest house in the state of Georgia coming in at a whopping 45,000 square feet. Nicknamed the Promised Land, the estate formerly belonged to Evander Holyfield from whom Ross bought the house in 2014 for five. What's this here? Everyone talking about the third annual Rick. No, stop it, man. Now we just try to promote his shit. I think it's over. Oh, picture of Wayne. Did he at Wayne? Please don't at no more niggas. Please, bro. You're getting annoyed. What up, it's the boss. Yesterday we began talking about real estate. I don't know nobody else that about $35 million crib and tear it down and do it the way they want to do it. Customize. Well, I did. Here we go. Right here on Star Island. Okay, I think now you're trying to just... Now I think you're, you might be annoying the chat too, nigga. Like, like we might need to get off of this, bro. Because I'm so annoyed... There's no way that you guys in the chat are not annoyed at this point. Okay? I'm sorry. I don't want to speak for you guys. But, like, I'm I'm, I'm looking at the timestamp right now. Like, nigga, 45 minutes. Half of this shit has just been the, the freaking um stories. It's not me reacting to the stories. It's the stories. He's doing too much. What's the poll saying here? Is, is Rick Ross thirsty? I'm losing my voice talking about this dumbass nigga. And I like your music, nigga. Like, damn, fam, you actually killed, like, a part of my love for your music, bro. You actually did that, my nigga. That's crazy. <coughs> I ask, is Rick Ross thirsty? 88% says yes. Ross, if you see this, I'll, let me tag you, nigga. Okay, and only 12% says no. That's a very, very, very small percent, bro. You're giving douchebag energy. You got to chill. <sighs> pray for Ross, okay? That's all I got to say. Pray for pray for Rose, and, and hopefully, you know, we can get Kendrick to respond and we can stop getting beat around the bush with this top three dumbass conversation. I'm, I'm kind of over it now. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me see what's going on here in my emails. What a ton, a ton. So here, 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 I'll go on, um, brother. I'm going to run through this. I'm going to skim through this because yes, this is, I will get a copyright if I run your video, dog. <laughs> Niggas be trying to make you crash out, bro. But thank you for the donation. I'm not even going to lie. Like, thank you for that. But it's not enough to make me lose my YouTube channel. But I will give, pop this up on the screen here. Big salute to Macadelic. That's the homie right there. Ramsey Bankroll. Look out for his video right now. It's been out for two days. Subscribe to his channel. I'm going to subscribe to his channel right now. Pow. But yeah, we're not getting no copyrights today, brother. The story, I yeah, hit her up at the store, yeah. She trying to me up with more. Uh. She trying to me up with more. Uh. New bankroll on my team. It's a trend, little bitch. Let me go a little bit further. Let me get to the hook. Yo, Rand, little bitch, little bitch. I'm swerving around the band, little bitch, little bitch. I'm swerving with no friends. Swerving no five times in the day. To the cash, I'm never. You floating there, brother. You look at my bed, you get one to your face. Look at my bed, you get one to your face. And for the cops, I ain't giving no green. And for the cops, I'm paying the case. Yeah, rich nigga, I'm still getting paid. And for the mm. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, once again, big salute to uh, Ramsey Bankroll. Go check out his video right now. The song is called They Hate. All 
All right. Stop hating on this nigga, bro. And go check this out. Go share the video. I'm going to smash the like button on this right here, too. Bada boom, bada bing. And, and tap in. You know what I'm saying? Um, Let's continue here. Let's continue. I'm going to go to my list. I got, I keep a list. Okay. I be keeping a list. I'm not talking about the top rappers in the city list. I'm, I got a list of shit. Uh, Metro Boomin is coming to Toronto just to um, just to end off on some of that Drake and whatever beef, Drake and the Revengers beef. Metro Boomin will be coming out to Toronto. Um, let's see exactly when he'll be here. Let me ask you all some thoughts on that quick fast. I'm not going to stay on this too long. I'm going to go to uh, my brother, uh, Keep Six Solid. He's been keeping... A lot of updates on what's going on here with this back and forth with this beef. Okay. Big Stu to keep six solid. He's been on the game. He's been on the move. Um, let's see if we can find this post. Let's see if we could find this post. I probably already passed it. Uh, Popular Toronto streamer. Where the hell is this shit? Oh, here it is. Found it. Found it. Just announced future Metro Boomin. We don't trust you tour coming to Toronto. Date schedule August 11th, 2025 over at the Scotiabank Arena, formerly known as the ACC, a Canada Center. Yeah, they're forwarding. They'll be here. I I was listening to the Joe Button podcast earlier, as I usually do on a Wednesday. And one thing that Melissa Ford was talking about is that that was going to be the weekend or should be the weekend of OVO Fest. Now, I don't know exactly when OVO Fest, there hasn't been any announcements for if there is an OVO Fest this year. However, if there is, and it's that weekend, ooh, that might be a problem. I don't think that these guys would be doing that in the same place. The Scotiabank Arena, it, like OVO Fest would be happening over at the Molson Center, okay, or the Molson Arena, all right, which is literally just down the street. However, I don't think it would even be a smart business move on the part of Metro Boomin and Future and probably Live Nation that's involved in this, okay? Because you could bet your bottom dollar it's probably a Live Nation thing. I don't even think it would be a smart business move to have them all doing this at the same time. It wouldn't even make sense. It'd be a stupid thing to, to, to do, in my opinion, okay? So there is speculation going on like, is this going to be the same weekend as OVO Fest? I don't think so. I really don't think so. If anything, I think OVO Fest might be the weekend after that because the weekend before that will be Caravana. Okay. <laughs> DJ Zar, a.k.a. Borrow Sounds TV. Go um, tap into Borrow Sounds um, or DJ Zar's YouTube Borrow Sounds TV and um, hit that subscribe. He says they got to check in with Dusty. Yes. Listen, they might have they might have a little bit more than just Dusty Wallace to worry about pulling up in town the same time as the OVO boys are doing or supposedly going to be doing a concert. Okay, and also keep in mind if they're going to be doing this at the same time as OVO Fest, they're going to be competing with the amount of people that OVO Fest is going to be bringing out. Besides the audience, like the special guest that Drake brings out every time he does an OVO Fest. All right? So don't go around just thinking, oh, well, like, these guys are just going to do something reckless like that. These guys work in the music industry. They pre pretty much get a lot of heads up that we don't get. So if anything, I would imagine they know what the schedule is and who's going to be performing when and when when it comes to what happens when they're putting their, their tour dates together. Not only them, Live Nation probably knows exactly what tour dates, what not to overlap with, all things like that, okay? 
So I don't think that it would be a, um, a smart business move to have this on the same weekend as OVO Fest. Not for the danger factor. I don't think there's going to be a danger factor, okay? Ignore all that Hells Angels post and all that type of shit. Like, that don't mean nothing. Mans are just like, yo, we, we're not soft. Or, or I don't know. I don't even know what that means. I have no idea. Okay, let's do that. But I will say it would just be a bad business move. Okay? They shouldn't even make it make moves in Canada. <laughs> yeah, right. These niggas is too rich to have to worry about street stuff. That's another thing, too. Like, yes, you know, um, it's one thing when Pusha T's over at the Danforth Hall and a whole bunch of water and beer and all that type shit gets thrown at him or somebody gets stabbed in his entourage or whatever or, or he stabs somebody, you know, a whole mess happened at that whole thing. We all remember that. But that's Danforth Hall. These niggas at Scotiabank Arena. Ain't no street shit going to happen at the Scotiabank Arena. All right? Let's just keep that in mind. Okay? No matter how much Drake is an ambassador for Toronto, he's not a friggin' superhero. He's not above the law. They're not going to make it like, uh, you know, like I heard them saying, watch him get these guys hemmed up at the border. No matter how much power Drake has to bring people in, he's not going to call a customs agent and say, yo, make sure that these guys get, uh, get rejected and turned around. Put them in the other line. If he did, then that's crazy. <laughs> right? It's not going to be the same time as Caravana, Old John Crow, 416 Trackstar Music. What up? Um, let me show you something. It, because I'm gonna, I'm just going through my calendar on the on the. Y'all can't see this on the screen, but I'm going on my calendar here. So, Caravan is going to be on the tenth. No, sorry, the third, the third. Because the first Saturday of August is going to be August third. So, if anything. There's going to be Caravan on August 3rd. And then the next weekend would be technically when they would have OVO Fest in the past. They didn't do it that weekend last year neither, from what I remember. Okay? Or the OVO World thing that they did last year. You know what I'm saying? And the year before that, I don't even think there was an OVO Fest down here. So it's not written in stone that it has to be one week after Caravana. Also keep that in mind. All right. Um, we'll see what happens. Okay. I doubt that this is going to be some empty ass venue. All right. They're using the Scotiabank Arena because they know they're going to pack it out. Okay. This is future we're talking about end of the day. All right. So. Look out for that. And uh, if y'all if y'all going, let me know. All right. Wear a vest. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. A um, couple more things I want to address before I get out of here. I don't know if I'm going to speed through these topics or you could slow walk the dog on maybe one of these here. Um, Adam22. He's been back on his villain arc. There's been a beef that's been brewing behind the scenes or in front of the scenes or whatever. Okay. Um, I'll address the young boy stuff. Now, let's do the address. Actually, let's do young boy. Let's do young boy. Pause. Um, NBA young boy seems to have been arrested. Let me see if I could pull this up. Who's got the info on this? Probably academics. Let's do let's do um young boy first. Pause. Cuz this happened a few hours ago. So NBA young boy was arrested and booked yesterday. So this happened yesterday actually and currently has no bond in these new charges threatened his federally approved house arrest which prosecutors were already trying to revoke after they claimed he was doing the rugs and they asked him to stop and he was told and he told them no okay so this is him Cantrell Deshaun Golden age 24 
height, five foot nine, short ass little nigga. Um, offense, pattern, unlawful activity. Um, procedure or alt procedure, drug possession. One D L A M. Identity fraud, forgery, and all type of fuckery. Possession of an uncontrol of, of other controlled substances or L. Possession of a dangerous weapon. Oh no. The nigga's 140 pounds. Bruh. Feds accused NBA young boy. So the un the okay, so the undersigned has learned that the defendant has violated this rule and has informed the supervisor officer that he has no intention of discontinuing using the substance that resulted in his violation. US court attorney Ronald Blasey Blah wrote in the filings. The filing did not specify what drug young boy is accused of using. The rapper's attorney did not return the request comment, and they are likely to formally respond to the allegation in the days ahead. Oh, Lord, 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 and Lord, and Lord. I call this shit. Okay. The other day, when he was going on this little, you bitch, bitch. Bitch. I was like, that looks like a lot of drugs. Nah, you sound like a bitch who I kicked out, nigga. I ain't trying to hear none of that mental health shit, boy. Hey, you know, you know how that shit turned out, you puss ass, nigga. You wrote my hoe. Drugs, drugs, drugs. Some are good, some are bad. I ain't tell you, I ain't tell you nothing, bitch. I, po- I told your hoe something. This bitch ass nigga want to act me. I ain't tell your bitch head. I ain't tell your Ask your mom or ask your dad. Bosh ass nigga when you vote when you play with my whole nigga. I just post your bitch. Keep that thing gangster. Then dope bang. Drugs, drugs, drugs. Play with my wife, man. That ain't no bitch. That ain't that, 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 that ain't that bitch that you fake pepping, nigga. No man. I, I don't wanna talk. I ain't your friend. I ain't none of that, you pussy bitch. None of that. Nah, you sound like a bitch. Is this nigga on drugs or not? Well, actually, I don't even have to ask the question anymore. It's been confirmed. He's on drugs, and he does not want to get off of them. Okay? Him and Kodak Black, two peas in a pot. Them niggas should do a collabo. Okay? They're, these niggas love drugs, bro. He said he don't even want to get off of the shit, bro. He's gonna, he'll violate his parole, his probation, or whatever he's on. Okay? He loved that shit. He's in love with the perk perks. I don't think he's on Coco. He don't give me cokehead behavior. Okay. He gives me more some kind of a pill head type of concoction type of thing going on there. All right. I don't know what to do with these, 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 these new generation of rappers, fam. I don't think a lot of these niggas is going to make it to 20 to 30, bro. This is the future of rap, fam. Okay? This is the future of rap. It doesn't matter with all the whatever he's beefing with with the, the next guy there, Finesse Two Times. Finesse Two Times is an old nigga compared to him. This nigga's the future. All right? When Drake and, and J. Cole and all these guys, you know, retire and they they... they you know, they just kick up with their kids. They start getting real great, or they start letting their gray hair show. This is the future. Drug and fraud charges. I don't understand, man. And listen, it's innocent until proven guilty, obviously. But from what we're seeing, the niggas like, fam, I'm not putting down the drugs. I can't put down the drugs. I can't. It should be calling me. It should be calling me. Listen, man. 
hold your head. I don't know what we're going to expect, what we could expect from this. If this guy's going to be able to get out of custody anytime soon, I don't really see it because this nigga's been on house arrest for how long? Maybe almost two years. And the, the, the courts don't look at this stuff lightly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ramsey back, Bankroll says, not here in Canada. is guilty until proven innocent. Yeah, in a lot of cases still. But yeah, hold your head, bro. Hopefully you can get out of that incident right there because I, if this is true about the, I don't want to take, I don't, I can't, I'm not putting down the drugs. Then I don't know what we can do for you, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're on your own, my nigga. Um, but let's move on. Let us move on. No jumper. Adam 22. Big 22. Okay. He's saying that he's part of the big three. All right. The big three was established, I guess, in some type of way the other day. And this is by academic standards and Joe Button standards. And I'm not going to disagree. I think academics and Joe Button are definitely, definitely two huge media powerhouses. Okay. I don't know if I could find that picture of Ack and Joe Button. Let's see. Maybe it's on Joe Button's page. Let's go to Joe. When you're hating, call that nigga Joe Button. It's probably on the Joe Button podcast page. Let's do that. JBP, the JBP. Where will we be without the JBP? Uh, nigga. Let's do this. Uh, I am academics. I think he posted it on his own shit. God damn. Oh, right now, he's actually over here at Marcy Lago. Okay, he's going to be streaming just now from Trump's crib. So look out for that. I'll find it, gang. I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. JBP. JBP. I think Joe posted this shit. He had a picture of himself and Joe Button. They said something about they're the new Spider-Man meme. I'll find this shit. I will find this shit. They said they're the new Spider-Man meme. They declared themselves the big or two out of the big three. And then the conversation started rolling around saying that the big three in the media, okay, and let me know if y'all agree with this, is academics, Joe Button, and I think that they put Vlad TV in that mix. Okay? I'm not going to find this fucking picture. It's going to piss me off today. I'll look for it in the background. So they're saying that that's who the big three is. Okay. One, let me know if you all agree with that. First of all, is academics and Joe Button the big three? As far um, and DJ Vlad, the big three. Okay. Because Adam 22 was not feeling that sentiment. He had a whole different uh, point of view when it came to that. I'm going to see if I can find uh, that picture here of those two gentlemen. But he responded with a whole bunch of smoke. Okay. It's basically started like what they have as a, already a riff between Adam 22 and Joe Button. And I don't know if you guys realize that Adam 22 and Joe Button have been having beef. It's kind of started from when Adam went over on to the podcast, onto the Joe Button, onto the Joe Button podcast. Right. Let's go, go to Twitch, uh, to YouTube. Let's go to YouTube. Adam 22, Joe Button. Um, let's go to Chink's move. Let's go to Chink's move. 
Yeah. You know what to do, Chick. So listen, Chick Smooth. Hey, Chick Smooth. Appreciate all the coverage that you've been doing. I've been watching your shit for a while. I just subscribed to you. Be on the Joe Button podcast. All you had to do was just DM Joe. You didn't have to do all this cloud chasing shit that you're doing right now. This is the moments that Adam 22 realized that, yo, no jumper is not the hip hop platform he thought it was. Now, maybe Adam is trolling or maybe he's just that delusional. But for some reason, according to Adam, he considers no jumper to be a top three hip hop platform. Keep in mind. When all right. So I said all that to your mind now if you guys missed it this morning adam 22 took to instagram to call out joe budden and his platform joe budden you zesty perk head motherfucker somebody sent me a clip of joe budden claim i called him a zesty perk head mother effer claiming that no jumper is doing real bad in terms of our views and everything so let's do the science joe budden's channel has got 12 million views in the past month no Jumper's main channel plus our Clips channel has done about 26, 27 million views for the past month. So we are two times by far what you have going on. And on top of that, we kill it on Facebook. We kill it on Snapchat. We have 3 million followers on Instagram and we make a huge amount of money on there. Should Joe Budden, bombs on I don't want to hear shit. You're running a chop shop. A chop you shop. might have the whole hip hop media gassed into thinking that you're really killing it like that. But trust me, when you want to talk about who's really doing business out here, it's not you. There's a big three and you're not in it. It's me, Vlad, and that fat motherfucker you were sitting with. No, Joe did respond back to Admin 22. He said, yo, hate to break it to you, buddy but there was never a hip hop media big three and capitalize that H in hip hop when you speak about it. White boy, Joe then goes on to say, some of you media niggas been trying to force a beef and relationship with me for years now. I'm too at peace for the contrived hootenanny and my God is too good for me to pretend like he isn't. Please don't let me be a distraction to your plans. With a little more focus, you can maybe lose even more. Ouch. He then ends up saying, big three. I only see me. Wow. These guys are really going at it. What did he say right here? Please don't let me be your distraction with a little more focus. You can maybe you can you maybe can lose even more. Wow. The ether, that shit that make your soul burn slow. You can maybe lose even more. Ouch. He then ends up saying big 3. I only see me and my man up here, referring to academics. Tuh. Now, after Joe responded back to Adam, Adam took to Instagram to basically drive back Joe to get on his podcast. Looks like Adam is in. No, 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 no. Ching, say it ain't so. New York handling business. Knowing that Joe films his podcast across the bridge in Jersey, the man drops a video saying, hey, if anybody needs me, schedule's kind of busy, but. I might make it work. Here's what Adam said. I will be in New York all this week with my man Trap Lord Ross. Maybe a couple appearances from uh, Brick Baby, Compa Raider, uh, Remo, etc. So make sure you slide on us. We got a pop up shop. Me and Desto Dub are doing the whole friggin' week, as well as hitting the Weed Award Show. We got a whole crazy weed pop up going on with the Dells, etc., etc. So if anybody needs to tap in with the 22 star hey my schedule's super booked but you know i'm a hustler so uh tap in with me and i might need y'all to wink wink pull up to the strip club with me too that fly oh the strip club the hidden gem because he knows joe loves a strip club there is coming very very soon uh and he'll be in there with the gang brick baby over there he probably got a few you know i don't know brooklyn bronx i don't know what what borough crips or that he'll he'll go and be like yo come outside we outside um six i'm rolling 60 on, on hood man i'm the baddest man in new york i'm coming i might fuck around and blow new jersey up i'm coming out dead homies everybody tap in with me let's now this is all types of nasty cloud chasing now as oh, okay ching don't do that you bashing the 22 star i'm not here to do that man i'm not here to do that so here we are, gang. The 22 ster versus Joe Button. The battle for the top three. Who do y'all think? And I'm going to ask you guys, I'll do a poll here, quick, fast. Who is the top three in the media? Okay. 
who is top three? Um, okay, you know what? Actually, let me re rephrase this question. Let me rephrase this question. Let's do this. Is Adam 22 big three? Bong, 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 bong. Let's go. Is Adam 22 and the No Jumper Network in the big three when it comes to media out there, out there these days? Okay. They've definitely been able to make a comeback in regards to the, the, um, the losses that they took back but maybe about a year ago when the whole community and back on fig fig community world all kind of left. All right. They lost a bunch of employees, but I've said in the past on this, on these streams that that might've been for the good. Okay. Not to disrespect those guys, but Adam was doing a lot of complaining on the way that these guys were podcasting. So that might've been for the better that they left. You understand what I'm saying, gang? Because he's been able to get new people into the fold. Sharp stayed strong. He stayed down with the team. Flacco stayed down with the team. Flacco's been able to navigate his way through this great because he's still able to pop up on community and back on fig and still be able to go over to no jumper and still do his own thing on his own channel. So he landed perfectly. Okay. And they added more pieces to the puzzle. Okay. Their view count has come back to where it was before. Well, not technically where it was before, but nobody in the YouTube space, in the hip-hop space uh, specifically, had the same type of view counts as they had once upon a time. Okay? Um, you know, back when he had um, XXX, Tentacion, RIP, and all these different people on the show, and he was getting like a million views per, per um, interview, them times change. Okay? It's not them times anymore. But he's definitely been able to bounce back to where he was pre-pandemic, I would say. Okay? So with that being said, let me reiterate the question or let me re-ask the question. Do you all think that No Jumper and Adam22 is in the big three? Okay? That big three being academics um, or from what academics and Joe Button feel or from what academics feels. I won't even say no, um, Joe Button. I won't even put it on Joe, okay? I think academics is more leaning on, yeah, we the big three. I don't know about, uh, you know, the boy Adam 22, but me and Joe, we big three, okay? We the Spider-Man meme, as he said. But I think that might be also just him trying to get at Adam 22 at the same time, okay? Him and Adam been having friendly beef back and forth for a long time friendly beef okay sometimes it gets kind of ugly okay we've seen beef between academics and adam 22 get very vicious but for the most part they've been respectful you feel me so let me re-ask you guys do y'all think that um adam 22 is part of the big three all right is he delusional? Is he clout chasing? Right? I, I think, like I said, I've already given my opinions on where I think No Jumper is in the space. As far as big three, I would... There's an argument for that. There's definitely an argument for that because they're holding on the West Coast. There's nobody really holding on the West Coast like No Jumper. So we can't take that away from them. Okay. They definitely, definitely have the West Coast on lock. And the West Coast is a big part of the hip-hop, you know, just the whole sphere. You know what I'm saying? Atlanta is basically the biggest uh, or, or the highest output of rappers are coming out from Atlanta. And that's just been what it is for forever. But the West Coast has been a legendary spot, a, definitely a home for hip-hop from forever. So to be a, a platform that represents the West Coast and all the new up-and-coming artists and all that type of stuff, it's kind of hard to compete with that, gang. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Maybe these guys can work it out in some kind of way as far as their beef that they've been having. 
to be honest, I don't even need them to work it out. Like, you know, it's, it's, hey, we get we get content out of this shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't even think that um, after that time where Adam was over on the Joe Button podcast, I, I don't even think this nigga ever wants to do that show again. Let me see if I can find a clip from there, and then we'll get off of this. Uh, Joe Button. They were arguing like crazy on that show. That was like an old episode when they were in the old studio. I'll take y'all into the way back machine right here. One second. Let me switch the screen. Uno momento. It's so hot. My girl gets so mad. You typically have our headphones, though. They're, uh, nah, their audio used to sound so hard. different. Let me go to a spike moment. Shouldn't, shouldn't happen when prominent figures pass. That is true. That's not the time to put on your white card and say, hey, my audience, my I have fans, my this. It's a lot of my. What I'm saying is, in the moment of someone perishing, that's true. it should be them. And, that is and my, you don't seem to take that stand. I and this is not the only it's person that you have done this with when my, they die. And that's my argument with September Rogan 2022. Schultz, when they say certain things, Same. and a black community comes to defend them, saying, yo, they talk about... Look at how they have him surrounded, too. Ice on this side, Joe Button right next to his head top, pause, and then you got Big Ish, okay, cracking his muffin about everybody yo it's jokes yo it's this if you are it's in like tune a surround with the black pack. culture and i'm piggybacking wait, off wait, of wait. it i won't say rogan <laughs> because his primary demo is not that but if yeah. you are in tune with black 22. culture and you're a friend to black culture dog is certain shit that you should know not look at adam he's just staring at the side of <laughs> yeah. he's like these guys are trying to cook me you can't, you can't cross that it. line. Can't do it. Not mm. to you. I'm just giving examples. Yo, if I'm in tune with... No, I I'm to wait, you. Wait, wait, wait. Let me finish. No, no, let me finish. If I got a bunch of Jewish Look, friends... I'm not done cooking. I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. Spreading his message, whatever not, he had to say to the world, what he yeah, chose he to say get, in his No Jumper interview he this. while he was alive... He gets this. ...is the stuff that we were highlighting. Uh, 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 Look at the language, the body language on here. These guys were just here to roast adam they were here to kill him this is a this is a setup thing right here you know what i'm saying i don't think their they'll, their relationship was ever the same after that i don't think adam wants to go back on their show to be honest okay hey i could be wrong um but i will move on i will move on oh just to stay on no jumper for a quick second last thing on no jumper big salute to danny from the stop Okay, I see another change that No Jumper did over there. Okay, they added Danny from the stop. For the people who don't know, and this is perfect connection of the two. Okay, the stop is something that um, is like a no, it's like a Joe Button reaction channel. Okay, Danny is a dude from over there in New York City. He has been reacting to Joe Button co content for a while. Um, he's on the No Jump, uh, sorry, the Joe Button Reddit. And he did an interview over on um, No Jumper, maybe three months ago, if I'm not mistaken. This is him right here. It's for the people who... No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. And today... I'm going to show him some love right here. I should probably just lay this out for the fans who are just clicking to Danny. and are kind of confused about who I'm talking to. Yes. Let's do that. An up-and-coming trend on YouTube is sort of... Let's go for a little bit. That's a part of his journey that isn't really explored much when he was the So that's him. Okay, that's Danny. Um, he does reactions to Joe Button content. You know, Joe Button. If you ever watch that content and that's how he usually starts it, Joe Button has a problem with Rory and Maul and sends a shot. 97 morning show. Mm. Um, that's my best Danny impression. Okay. And I'll pull up some of his content here. Just to give you all a little bit of context. Let's see. Let's find something from today. Let's go on his channel. 
If I'm not subscribed, I'll be surprised. Hello, everybody. It's Danny from The Stop. And I'm here with a special guest, someone I've been talking about long for the better part of two years. But that's not what I want to see. Okay. So this is from like three hours ago. Um, let's do this. Academics joins the Joe Budden podcast. And I must say a lot happened. So we need to break it down immediately. So right away, the podcast starts with Joe Budden talking about Drake and academics, giving him some pushback. Okay. So just to give you all some context, that's what he does. Where okay. Reaction. Only- so now it seems that no jumper has picked up Danny and brought him over to the no jumper team. Okay. You know, from what y'all see, this is a video from today. He's still doing his um his content over at his own channel. However, he also does the same type of content right now for the no jumper team. There was some people like seen the first time that um, I got the news from this. I forgot whose channel I was watching. They were questioning, oh, well, what, what does this mean for Flacco? Right? Will Flacco lose his job now that Danny from the stop is doing no jumper content? Okay, so Flacco might be in I, some serious I don't think so. After making the Right, because they do different things like Flacco does reactions as well, but Flacco does reactions on his own channel. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go check on Ak in a quick video second. Where he talked about AD calling out Sharp. Now, in that video, he references Ace Boy Trey, who is apparently someone you don't want to make. So now he's content. doing he basically the same type of content that he does on his channel for No Jumper or in the streets. Because, yo, they is beef content creators in California. In places like New York media, that influence is essentially non-existent. So let's say Joe Budden's beef with Maul. Neither are... So right here, this guy is still out of New York. He's still doing his thing, but he now works for No Jumper. There's an expansion going on. Adam's over there in New York City, so he's probably got to go meet up with Danny. A lot of different things are going on. I'm just giving you guys a quick heads up just so you can pay attention to the moves that Adam 22 is making. Okay. Over there at the no jumper team. Okay. There's going to be probably some new things that are popping up over there. I seen that they also added lush back to the team. All right. Um, for the people who don't know, all right. Lush is back over there. He's now a member of the no jumper podcast team. Okay. So the Tuesday show, the coveted Tuesday show, the show that Adam has always been trying to, you know, cater and craft into a perfect podcast, the show that's been basically going on for years, he now has Lush as a co-host. few minutes especially. Got you. So moves are being made. And we are live. All right. He even mentioned in this interview how he enjoyed having a conversation here with Lush. This is episode 237, just to, to show you how serious that he is about this specific piece of content on his channel okay so he hired back lush he hired danny from the stop okay and you know this lush making my facetime calls like really like geeked up just like oh man i'm ready i'm ready i'm I'm gonna do it i'm gonna call him Mm. i hope he does too you know at the end of the day but ultimately like i'm gonna do me regardless i'm gonna be here regardless i'm that like that's the first time one of the editors told me he said that was the first time that there's ever been me and sharp on a pod together mm. all right sharp is kind of objecting to this but adam's making some moves i'm just giving y'all a quick heads up this is going to be some things that are going to be moving around and shaking over there at no jumper okay it's going to be it's uh you know things to look out for just that's all i got to say about that things to look out for okay let me just see what's going on with the poll here is Adam 22 big three? Ooh, 64% of y'all say no. Only 38% says yes. Um, I think I could squeeze in one more story before I touch the roads. Let me make sure everything's crisp and copacetic. Uh, all right. We'll do one of us, one of us. I'll I'll save the gold heist for um, the podcast. And do remember, we got a show going on tomorrow night that's going to be over at... uh, Let me stop the share screen here. 
That's going to be over there at 744 Mount Pleasant. That's uptown. That's Mount, near Young and Eglinton. If you all want to check out um, the junk show, it's going down. We have free tickets that we're giving away. Send us an email at we love hip hop Toronto at gmail.com and we'll give you some free tickets. There's a meet and greet as well that you can get a pass for. So hit us up. The, the um, email is on the screen right now. We love hip hop Toronto at gmail.com and uh, get yourself some tickets for the junk show. Okay. Um, and uh, we'll be opening the show. So it's starting at seven. We'll probably be on by seven, eight, um, seven thirty, eight o'clock the latest. All right. So make sure to check that out. Um, I want to just end off with a couple of things here. I interviewed a gentleman years ago named Tizzy Stacks. Okay, big salute to Tizzy Stacks. And he had a promising career in this rap game. Like, Tizzy Stacks was making some big moves, fam. Like, he had some tunes out that were doing a lot of numbers. I clearly recall, you know, people from Sony hitting me up in my DMs like, yo, how could I get in contact with Tizzy Stacks? Let me put an upvote on this. Boom. Okay, and this is cur courtesy of Torontology Reddit. Y'all can see it on the screen. Perfect. And unfortunately, after his rise, just like that, he was out of here, locked up. Okay. Uh, let me go over here to the Reddit now, I didn't know what he was locked up for for the longest time, to be honest. I've, you know, I've done one new story on him when he first got locked up. He did give a couple of messages from jail, like most Toronto rappers do. Okay. And on the screen, this is Tizzy, Tizzy Stacks, if you all remember who he is. Okay. Um, and, you know, the people who know Tizzy Stacks will obviously remember who he is. Okay. But for the people who don't know, he's, he was doing his thing. His music was fire. So what it says here is Bramp uh, Toronto slash Brampton rapper Tizzy Stacks, first degree M court documents. So he was actually charged with a first degree M, I think right now. And it says here is trial begins June 10th, um, 2024. Um, Tainan Singh charged with first degree murder of this gentleman right here. RIP um, Jahil McCoy. OK, and keep in mind, it's innocent until proven guilty. All right. Um, what else do they have? Do they have the paperwork? Or am I tripping? I thought they had some actual documents. Where's the actual documents? All right. Let's see here. Um, yes, I'm over 18. Okay, so arrest article 2022. Okay, so let me change the screen over here for y'all because it took me to another screen. And let's go down the wormhole. So it says here, Peel Regional Police identified Brampton's latest homicide victim as this gentleman right here, 19, pictured. The 20-year-old Brampton man is facing first degree M in connection with the shooting in March. Police said 19-year-old Jahil McCoy was found shot to death in his home in the Tonda Court and um, Wellness Drive in the Huron, Ontario area on March 1st, 2022. At the time of the investigation, considered an incident a target shooting. On Tuesday, they arrested um, Thailand Singh and charged him with murder. Let me see if I can find actual documents. There was another link in here. Except cookies. Okay, I got another thing here, gang. I got another thing here. Um, okay, so this is Superior Court of Justice. M. Singh stands charged with one count of first degree M. He is scheduled to proceed uh, to trial before a judge and jury commencing on June 10th, 2024, in a key trial of other identified shooters. 
the Crown wishes to lead the um, evidence and other discreditable conduct on Mr. Singh at this trial. In a particular, they wish to admit to the following evidence. Ten weeks following the M, uh, pursuant to valid search warrant, a handgun was uh, located in the secret compartment below the radio of the center dash area of the car owned by Mr. Singh. The handgun was a 9mm Sig Sawyer and had Mr. Singh's DNA on it. Um, this was not the murder weapon. Keep that in mind. Um, this handgun was fully loaded with 15 rounds of 9mm ammunition and one round in the chamber ready to fire. Wow, they had to add that to it. That's crazy. The ammunition retrieved um, was of the handgun. Um, one located under the front passenger um, floor mat considered three different types of bullets. And then they named the bullets here. The crown is... Uh, I'm just skimming through some of this stuff here. It says on the facts on March 1st, uh, 2022, approximately, uh, they said, and they're going through the time of the uh, the murder it was outside the residence and when he was approached by a lone gunman and shot multiple times at the scene police collected two rounds of ammunition nine millimeter and caught the casing jesus christ it's a lot going on over here mr singh was arrested on may 26 2023 and charged with mr mccoy's murder the ammunition located on Mr. Singh's BMW were a combination of various makes. The bullets recovered in Mr. Singh's BMW, all but one being loaded into 9mm, matched those recovered in the scene of the murder of the copper triple. Jesus Christ. Um, okay, Singh. The recovered bullet also is considered the same distinct mix of three manufacturer types. Oosh. Listen, gang, I'm not going to go through all of this word by word because I'm sure I'm going to get some DMs about this. You know what I'm saying? If you all want to go on Reddit and don't go do your own deep dive into this right here, um, we definitely, you definitely can do that. You know what I'm saying? You're welcome to do that. But they're saying that he's going to be standing trial June 10th of this year. You know what I'm saying? So, whew. we'll see what happens with this. You know what I'm saying? A young man, young, young man was passed away. Okay. Like I said, I did an interview with Tizzy Stacks. How many years ago was this now? Jesus Christ. That was ages ago. Can I find that? One second. Let me see if I could find that. Tizzy Stacks was doing his thing. And when he did pull up, He pulled up with the next gentleman, R.I.P., uh, a gentleman named Steno. Okay. And when he passed, he passed at the age of 19 as well. It's just to show that like, the city's, there's no love in the city, man. There was a lot of stuff that, like, these. All right. So let's get to the the evening. But, like, sorry, if y'all can hear me, there's a lot of stuff that these guys didn't really want to talk about. But, jeez. I see that like, I was doing the numbers. I didn't even think because when I was in grade eight and I dropped my first song, mm -hmm. I didn't. Even, it was like a struggle to get one thousand views. Yeah. And then for me to drop my first song and then see everybody from my school and like my friends on road, whatever support. Our you. audio used to be crazy. And so I'm from the West End. Okay. So, like y'all knew each other from each other from time. Went to went to the same high school. Okay. And then when I dropped, remember when I was telling you guys about the song I dropped, and it was getting like one k turned into five k overnight. Yeah. All right, peace, Deno. Yeah, man, hold your head to this gentleman. R. I. P. To the young man that passed away. You know what I mean? Let's not forget that a young man passed away in this incident right here. And um, Jesus, it's a lot of stuff on that paperwork right there. Let me put a like on my own shit. Um, one last thing I want to cover before I get out of here, and then I got to touch the road like a snap. Um, where was I? Right here. Let's go back right here. I want to just keep my eye on this. The last time the lowered standard of admission. 
literally perpetuates the problem Big act. where bad stuff happens. And then it's like, well, the cops fall. And then, then it's, it, does that make sense? Yeah, no, no, you I know, get it. it. Oh, the man's talking so to it, Trump it, Jr. Disgusting. Big act. Big act is interviewing Trump Jr. We're watching it in real time right now. Let me throw some audio back on there, see what he's saying. I think that's a winning formula. No, I get it. If uh, we're, meaning if we're going to be honest. No, no, you know, no, that'll no, get me no, in no, trouble no. with someone. I'd, but Man's rocking the O'Meary sweater. I think Axe been in the gym. Pause. No diddy. Law and order and you know criminal justice and, and criminals. They try to say your father was a criminal. They, they, they yeah, arrested well, him. They, they want to throw my father in jail for... Marcia Lago. Actually, possibly the death penalty, which, you know, he's a young and vibrant guy, but 700 years felt like a long time. Big three, big act. Not as a politician or like mm -hmm. public figure. When these things happen, or I don't know how you get uh, or how you're getting notified about these things. Boom mics. Nice production. Holy. That's how Big Act is living right now. Holy. Big Act. He got 10,000 people watching his stream right now as we speak. Okay. He's, you know, he's over there at the Trumpster's house. At the big fortress. Okay. This is where hip hop has come to, man. We've gotten to a level where hip hop has gotten to where the, you know, a, a hip hop commentator is at a former president's home. All right. And also, I'll say one thing also in closing before I get off of this too. In my opinion, this is a big endorsement for Trump. Okay, I know Ak has said in the past he's not any political, he doesn't have any political ties, anything like that. Okay, he doesn't support any political parties. He just likes Trump. He, you know what I'm saying? The the Democrats or the Republicans are not in his pocket. He tried to expose, um, I think, a few other people like Democratic parties or Democratic candidates that tried to get at him and try to give him money. And he said that he's refused money in the past from Republic from the Republican Party. I think I got a call cap on that act. He's in D.C. He had no connection to the business. Okay, he so, had no nothing. So, 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 so this was this woman that claimed whatever. Yeah. And she filed a civil suit. She took a settlement. They're right? talking about the Trump yeah. um, case that's going on right now. And now the problem. Trump Jr. smoking big cigars. Really bookkeeping. They want to throw him in jail for years because an accountant wrote something on a paper that said, Hey, it's legal expense instead of I don't even know what else it could be. Like, it's like the equivalent of like me coming here, um, except I'm. Yeah, I think they might have got up in his pockets indirectly or and directly. OK, indirectly in the way like, yes, you know, if I do some stuff with, with Trump and them, obviously, this is a huge look to be over there at Marcio Lago streaming live. OK, you're going to make money on the on the back end. Pause. But directly where these niggas might have gave him about 10 M's, said, yo, bro, just lean into this Trump shit. And there's nothing wrong with that, okay? Um, maybe being a little bit more transparent with it is what I think I might be getting at and some people who are trying to get at act for it. But I don't think there's anything wrong with like accepting some money from a political party if that's who you're going to be voting for, okay? He's openly say, said multiple times he's going to vote for Trump. So I, him being over here at Marcia Lago, if they gave him 10 M's, if they gave him five M's, take the money, my nigga, do what you got to do. Okay. But yeah, I'm gonna leave that there. Um, obviously he's going to be taking up a lot of the streams and stuff like that. Cause you're over there at the Trumpsters. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'll end my stream here. Look out for a new episode that's dropping tomorrow morning with Don Q. Okay, the Don Q interview is dropping tomorrow morning. Okay, Roni interview on the way. Live show tomorrow night. Okay, once again, 744 Mount Pleasant. Okay, and we got another show over there in Hamilton going on on Friday night. And then on Saturday night, make your way out to, uh, to Niagara Falls. Or if you're in Niagara Falls watching this right now, tap in. It's going to be sick. All right. Other than that, I, we are off of this. I'll see y'all in a few days. Deuces.